Oh, uh, a battle royale game. Sorry. That reminds me of uh, oh, this one show that my coworker watches, and she told me you need to watch it. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's called Release the Hounds. It's on Netflix. She told me it's like a really crazy British like TV show where literally like you have to go through a bunch of puzzles, and when you get to the end, it's all, it's like Escape the Room like Saw style puzzles. Like, there's one where a guy has to pop balloons to, like, get a key to get out. And, like, some of the balloons are giant and contain clowns with chainsaws. And he oh. has to be chased by what? them. What? Yeah, and I'm just like, I'm sorry, what? And she's like, yeah, and then he has to get the key and unlock the thing, and it stops the gate. I'm like, well, what's the gate? It's like, well, if the gate gets closer to you, it means when they release the dogs, the dogs will get to them quicker. I'm like, I'm sorry, excuse me? <laughs> the what? whole goal is... Yo, I like, this, I like this new adaptation of fucking uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. It literally is like you have to go through these puzzles and the gate will keep moving as the timer's clicking down and the gate will be where they release the hounds. And your goal is you need to run when they release mm. the hounds uh, to the end and your backpack is full of money. You have a backpack like full money. of money. And if you get to the end, you get to keep the money. But if you get it, like attacked by a hound, you don't get to keep the money. Chat is, how she chat, chat is really me. invested in your guys' conversation, by the way, everybody. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> good. Oh, good. It's called Release the Hounds. I haven't watched a single... I, I watched a clip of the clown episode, and it was it was very frightening. And the guy was like... <laughs> I remember at one point, the guy's just like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> like, he's like, I don't know. Uh, I want to give a quick shout-out to uh, oh. our two resident sick people, uh, Monty and Zito. Guys, thanks so much for not dying on us and being here with us. <laughs> Cinecom, thank you for the 5,000 bits, Cinecom. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. Let's make that a third. Ex -Nick 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 you might make that a fourth. You call him Ex-Nick-Em? -Nick -Nick well, <laughs> nonetheless, thank you for the 5,000 bits, next nick -Nick Jesus. Era Pam, wow. 1,000 bits, thank you so much. Alright, let's go through our pre-show here. I will, we'll do, I'll will be doing shout-out to the, at the, in the, uh, the breaks we have here. Um, everyone, welcome to the Unexpectables. Hi. Um, this is Hello. um Hi. so uh so Z so like um mm. me and Goomba aren't sick and uh ooh. uh I might oh, be congrats soon. congrats Aww. you just uh, so this is a kick this is a sickness Kickstarter here have you considered just hanging out it's uh, it's all yeah. it's all you Taka you're the only one of us that isn't corrupted by the what is seasonal happening changes. guys do you guys still global oh. warming I don't know but there's there's a there's a golf ball in the center of my forehead right now. Or it feels oh, like Jesus it anyway. Christ, guys. God damn. All right. Well, this just means I'm gonna hide in my house nonstop and just take flu force. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, we're, see, now you're, you, we're the unexpectables. But see, here's the thing, though, Talk, is that you live in a place that has consistent weather. I found out the hard way that <laughs> Texas likes Texas likes to go winter, spring, winter, spring, fall, mm, winter, cool. spring. Yeah, yeah it's kind of bad. Thank you so much. We have. Where we are, like, uh, where I'm at, we have, we have, um, we have. Summer, fall, winter, and road construction. Yeah, those, those are not, that's, that's very true. It is very true. Wow, you guys are being very. Yeah. We don't have spring. As opposed, yeah. to, New, as opposed to New York, where the it's smog in winter. Welcome to the infectable yeah. stream, everybody. Uh, well, to be, fair, to be fair, I actually feel like I'm coming out of mine very well. Like I, I was, I was fucking disastrously broken Monday night, but like now that I'm like midway into the day tonight, and after I've taken a shower, I almost feel no sickness right. whatsoever. So, yeah, Missouri Missouri weather likes to go from huh to ah! the red storm code. Thank you for the fifteen hundred bits. That that was a scream. Props to Monty for you guys, everyone for staying. I love the complex story improv, and I look forward to watching every week. All right, thank you so much for the for the bits, guys. This is great. But we'll do some introductions here. We're joined by DM Supreme Monty Glue. The Caden King. I, I I keep telling you, you have to have confidence. <laughs> God damn it! Why are you? Oh fucking. Anyways, um. This is all an act, guys. She actually gets mad at me all the time. She's like, "No, we're not doing." Yeah, she, what? She, 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 yes, she does. Okay, I'm, she's fucking, I'm fucking with you. I'm, I, I, put we, that we, no, no, see, I, I know, I, Nadine, I'm, Nadine, Nadine, I'm, 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 I'm joking. I am kidding. <laughs> we're, we're the unconsolable. Yeah, there we go. Now. That, that, that is also pretty good. Uh, we have a new. Uh, we are also joined by Gaijin Goomba. Everyone, uh, claps for Gaijin. Uh, oh, because you're you leaving. Clapping? You're getting out of Texas. You're going to Chicago tomorrow. You're going to which con? Are you going? You which con? Are you oh yeah. To? I I'm going to be going to Con Alt Delete. It's a very nice anime con. I'm going to meet up with Joey the Anime Man, Aki Dearest, and uh, Misty Cornexia, who I've never met before. You've so never met Misty Cornexia? Uh, no. Met him, like, never had the chance. How did that happen? Okay. Um. Uh. Ooh, we, some of us aren't uh, as cool uh, as you. Uh, oh, gee. 
Mm. Yeah, okay. Like, come on, what was that? <laughs> uh, we are also joined by Senile Snack. Hello. Yep, okay, and... Um, <laughs> yep. That's Psycho what I've got going on. 3,800 bits. Oh, my God, the subs and the bits are flying, guys. We're back, bitches. Yeah. Uh, it's like, go for it. Psycho Mantis. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, MAP. Oh well, I'm, I'm missing a lot of guys. I'll try and go through the list here, but your kindness is like is amazing. Oh. We're joined by a very a very sick Zito. <laughs> Art at Shield, five thousand bits. Best part of my week. It must be the Zito the Zito duck call. Oh my goodness, guys. Zito guy, anything you want? To talk, anything you want to talk about? Are you doing okay? Got what's going on in the world of Zito? We're doing this. Uh, what's going on is, I'm sorry I fucked mm -hmm. over D and D, but I will let you know about this. Uh, next week, what if D and D, but a what longer if D &D session? Longer. Ooh. What if D and D mm -hmm. longer, and that's what we have prepped for this week. And also, we have something special happening on uh TFS on Friday. It's so special that it's super secret and we can't talk about it, but it's gonna be really fucking mm -hmm. rad, you guys. You better quit talking oh, about that. So much for the bits. Oh my god. It's my birthday tomorrow, so I have some appreciation of a gift for me to all of you. Oh! <laughs> oh wow. yeah. Happy birthday. Yes, sir. Thank you very yeah. much. I'm I, ready I, to I'm go. Are you guys ready thing. to go? Uh, I just, well, yeah. well, real fast. I'll, I'll, I'm just, we're gonna, I was going to run through what everyone's up to. And real fast, uh, for me as well, um, we are... We, the streaming schedule is good. We got the Burning Youth of Eorzea on Fridays. Uh... Dengus Fungent and me and Goomba are talking about doing something together potentially in the next coming weeks. So we will get you guys more information as that becomes more apparent. Uh, I actually this I actually something happened this big happened this week though. Uh, I was I got to be on the front page of Twitch for the first time ever. Uh, yeah, because I was in the Divinity uh, Divinity Original Sin two uh, stream with Commander Holly, uh, Kraken, and I am Spoon. So that was fun, and we got to play, and we got what to yeah, it's strong name, strong branding, and um, it was really fun because I got to play through the GM mode in a campaign that one of the uh, devs actually set up for me, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, it was really cool being able to meet everybody, and it was super neat. So yeah, I just figured I would. Uh... I do you mind if I just quickly ask? Like I I caught like a little bit of it, but I didn't get too far into it. What did oh, you I roll be, with? I, I became the man with the powers of tentacles and turning people into chickens. Oh, you yeah, were yeah. the polymorph then. No, what, no, was just a regular guy. I had a nice beard. My name was Magic, the Magic Man, Magic Stan. He was a he, he was he was fired from uh, was fired <laughs> from the circus because ten people died unrelated. Nice human polymorph. <laughs> oh, there we go. There we go. That's <laughs> Magic Stan, the Magic Man. He is a five star oh, man. But um, uh, aside from that, guys, yeah, the streams have been really amazing uh, for all of us. And by the way, before we start, everyone here has their own Twitch page. Uh, definitely uh, check them out, please. Because everyone has a different style to them, and I really want you guys to definitely check them out. And if you like what you see here, click a follow and click them a follow. But anyways, Nadine, uh, oh, one more note, one more note, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. The podcast is doing okay. amazing, everybody. Thank you so much for all the support Good. on the. Thank you for we'll all meet. the support on the podcast, guys, and thank you for the ratings and the reviews you've been leaving have been incredibly positive. Uh, it's just, it's almost all of them are over 50%, like, popularity ratio, which is crazy. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, yeah, and think that it, oh, oh we're, 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 we were going to get started, but you see Zito and Senile, Senile Snake still have to get into Roll20. It's in. <laughs> Give me a hot second, Jesus. No, I'm, 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 I'm stream shaming you. It's fine. That's all right, I'll just, I'll just spam your entire chat with fouls, foul emotes. That'll be fine. Mm. <laughs> You have me wanting Probate. to go back and watch that show. It's been Probate. so long. Whoa! Uh -oh. What the what? fuck? Whoa, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, uh -oh, seven, eight, probate. nine. Uh-oh, probate. 100,000 bits from That's probate. So Here's bit. the grant for the Alabas Harvest Festival. Real talk. Happy holidays, you guys. Uh, Do you do you know what that What's is, Taka? That's, That's a grant. A, a grant? Yes, I am. I am aware. I'm aware of what that is. Holy shit! Oh. Holy shit! Um, I'm gonna go. Happy holidays, you guys. I have gotten so much enjoyment. Uh, sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm a bit stunned right now. Uh, 
So much enjoy. Deep breaths. Yeah, so much enjoyment from this series, far in excess of my investment. Unexpectables is the highlight of my week, and I am proud to have the privilege of joining you guys every week for the insanity. Probate, thank you so much. Uh, I. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, uh, well, I well, thank thank you so much. Probate, thank you so much for funding this show. And j I, I'm a dirty little bit, bitch. This is my bit, bitch song. I'm a dirty little bit, bitch. Probate is my dad. Wow, this is. Whoa. A now you know where you're going. There get your good you looks go. From. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. All right, you guys ready to start? Um, yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go. All right. When last we left our heroes, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Tass the Kobold Ranger, Greckles the Kenku Rogue, and Borky the Orc Barbarian, the party made their way back home to their humble home of the Sweet Dragon and received a plethora of letters. Remy, staying true to his responsibilities, bid the party farewell and made his way to the High Council District to deliver a letter to Isla, as well as the Order, for Brook Bronzefang. Now the party rests calm and quiet in their tavern, but what... But what lies ahead for them? So you guys are home. Are. You guys are sitting in your tavern. It's so good. It is comfy. It is it is warm. Meryl has gone over. She's begun to lit light a fire now at this point. It's still kind of mid-morning. It's about 10, 11 o'clock in the morning at this point. Helga's so. still looking sour as ever. Is Ty She's there? Uh, you don't know. Uh, Helga's just cleaning glasses no. and getting things set up. She's actually moving kegs and just stocking them onto can, the shelves. Borky would like to go in, into the kitchen. Is that cool? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna follow. You, you pull, you push open the double doors of Ty's yep. beautiful kitchen. Ty, Bork. And it's empty. Mr. Borkington! Borky shouts for him. Mr. Borkington! Mr. Who? Please stop yelling. Helga turns over to look at the both of you. Where's Ty? Tybor Pinkton has gone out to go buy supplies for winter time. It is prime time for chef to buy ingredients as well as pickled vegetables and food. It's unfortunate. I actually wanted to ask him if he knew how to prep yes, something. I want to give him a present I got for him. I got him a souvenir. Hey, Helga, you want to see what it is? Oh, I no, really no, 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 <laughs> she just closes her eyes and like looks the, up at like the ceiling like take, just take like, a look Borky holds open the fanny back of holding look at my eggs they're, they're no, they, small. what I have you know Borky carefully carefully removes one of the giant eggs dice is medium at best okay and Borky care yeah, okay. Porky carefully places the egg. She's so Caref unimpressed. Porky carefully, carefully puts it back in the bag of holding. Just care. Ty Burpington could make omelet out of. No. Mm, I actually had egg. a better idea. You'll find out. I guess you will. You'll find out. <laughs> anyway, Helga, um, I don't mean to assume, but I would like to ask you something. Do you actually know if anywhere in this town sells, and this may sound strange, but do they sell bear meat? Mmm, bear meat. Mm. Common butcher have cow and, and pig and mm. chicken and lamb and mm. sheep. And a a shape and lamb many animals thing, you though. can eat. Okay. Mutton. Goat, uh, is a fine, goat is a fine second, but I would actually rather prefer if there was bear. If you want to go for weird food of killed animal from woods, you'd want to hit up Northlanders. They'll eat anything under the, well, sun, but they are from Tundra, so not much sun. You understand what Helga means, though, yes? Yes, thank you, Helga. Hmm. Hmm. Also, do not forget about this, and she pulls out the envelope, the last uh, thing on top of Solomon's I'll letter. I'll take that. Okay, just you imagine take Imagine Greckles just, like, yep. literally his hand coming from above screen. <laughs> And just does a flip. <laughs> like Task is about to take it, and like his hand snakes around his well, wrist here, and here. grabs it. <laughs> Slide of hand, twenty-three. <laughs> All right. There you go. <laughs> so what I just explained actually happens. Yep. More or less. 
Meryl uh, finishes setting up the fire, kind of dusts off her hands and heads back into the courtyard with her broom uh, and closes the door behind her. Uh, Greckles, you have the envelope in your hand. It's a very beautiful, intricate envelope. It's got uh, almost goldly vines kind of trailing on the envelope on the outside, and there's a very delicate wax seal with a rose on it. It smells aromatic. It smells like rose petals. Uh, is there anything written on it? Nope. Oh, all right. Well, uh, huddle up, boys. Let's see what this is about. Where's uh, where is where's where where so, is Panic Grimtongue right now? Yeah, I'm wondering that too. Panic. Panic. Is he's been quiet this whole time. <laughs> sitting, sitting. He's he's sitting at the table, and he's just uh, unwinding. He's just just enjoying himself on his seat. Just kicking he's back, fa- closing his, his eyes. His just. Seat. Uh, his fancy seat, come on. It's his fancy yeah. seat. Does he, yeah. his, does he get his feet up? All right. Because, all right. because if you will have your feet. No, he's 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 kind of he's kind of leaning back on in the is, chair. Is he gonna pile in around us as we we Scooby Doo huddle no, around this one little we, letter? We're, we're gonna have to meet him halfway and get over to his seat. Sit down at the table with him. <laughs> this is an important conversation, guys. <sighs> we. It is a counter. You're at basically in front of Wood, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> barbarians. Oh, I, I, okay. I, 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 am. I, I open, <laughs> I open it up. It is four tickets to the oh. entertainment district for a spa treatment for four at the oh. mansion. What's it say? <laughs> it says, "To the love of my life, Hammernar, come visit us again." And there is a, a lipstick mark. Uh, on the one Who's of the Hamanar? tickets. I don't know, but I think we got someone's wrong mail or Sully stole some uh, letters and gave it to us. You do remember now. that she said she got the gift, one gift from Hammernar. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, in her letter, I she did. mentioned she wanted to come are up we, with a gift for you guys, but Hammernar. At the Road Mansion. Ooh, Road Mansion, where dreams come true. So, Task is just gonna like hold his hand up. So, refresh my memory. What's up? Looks at the word spa. Um. Yeah, panic. You take this one. Well, you see, when a man and a woman, or a man and a man, or a woman and a woman, or can I roll insight already? Anything in between. Like the way each other look very, very much. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to let him explain himself first before I roll this insight check. All right. The body responds in very uh, strange ways. And so you go to places mm-hmm. like the Romansion to uh, take care of things with no muss, no fuss, and probably. Well, if some I have a little bit of muss on my feet. Oh, okay. Spot, like okay. Cool, 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 cool. <laughs> 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 Natural 20 insight from task to panic. He is talking about sex, baby. I want, I want to believe, I want to, I want to, I want to. Wait, Ben, it's not a spa, that's a brothel. Well, it's a brothel. And? I thought it was a spa. It's where it's where you give gold for sex, Borky. Borky blushes. I would I would never. I would never. <laughs> Elga, can you Elga, can you give me a drink? I do not have ale made of bird seed. <laughs> Borky's spirit spits back into his drink. <laughs> she just turns over and just picks a random keg and pours you a half decent pitcher of ale. Uh, that's obviously what it is. It it is scarples here. I'm right Jesus here, I'm right Christ. behind you, no one ever pays Fucking attention. Fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's alright, oh, I get God, that a lot. Gee, Mercy. So, the Romansion. Yeah. Brothel? Actually, it's a bit of everything. The first floor is a spa. You know, a place to get your hair done, you got people mm-hmm. all putting oil all over you and doing, I don't know, hand stuff. The second floor. Sounds like a bra. Well, well, I've got, I've got, I, I've got. Hand stuff. Well, I would assume there's hand stuff. There's, there's stuff Note like yourself. doors to open, knobs to turn. Not to self. 
first floor hand stuff. Okay, go on. They, they call it massages or something. Massa I don't know. Okay. Massages? The second... Mm -hmm. Oh, no, continue, continue. I'm sorry. Okay. The second floor. All right? Now, if you got yourself a special someone, you take them there. They got these rooms you can rent out. Oh. It's really nice. You oh. can get dinner, yes, a show, yes. even some vinyl innis will come in and entertain you. And uh, it's kind of like a romantic -y thing. You can oh, take your date there. Interesting. Well, oh, you know, you got a lot of people here, like yeah, soldiers and stuff, and they don't really have their own place to go, you know? So the Romansion is a place where you can take your um, very close, and she gives you a wink, close friends. Uh-huh. And then you got your top floor. And uh, she slowly turns and looks at you, Panic. It's exactly what you're thinking of, friend. Mm-hmm. Okay. I Panic should warn you, the word brothel is not what I would use for this place. It's a uh, high caliber, if I were to use a word. Oh, okay. A uh, fine establishment. Uh, 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 <laughs> and she winks at you. So it's not a brothel. It's like an awful, but with like an A, because it's A+. Plus. Let me see your tickets, and she goes, waddles over to you, uh, Greckles. Oh, uh, sorry, here you go. Greckles has actually been kind of glaring at Helga for a little while. She takes the ticket and looks, Yep, you just got access to the top floor, but if you want to pay extra money, they'd probably be fine with you going to the other floors right, if you're that so interested. Uh, it costs to get to the top. We, we, well, Borky's just five-dimensional five like geometry in his head. Look, at, I'll explain it in this way. The Entertainment District in Alavast, it's the one district you can pay oh, to get okay. into. Oh, nice. What's the basic fee to get into this place? A thousand dollar, or a thousand <laughs> doll hair. Sorry, that's goblin currency. Um, it's about a thousand gold pieces to get in Ooh. by your own merit. But because you guys have these, you can make it in oh, on a one trip good. visit. We can't go back. What if, what if they stamp our hands? I... Sorry. <laughs> Look, I don't know about orc culture, but I, I think you'll be so okay. Much. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> All right. Well, no. Task is going to confide in Scarbles and ask her, "Is it worth my time to go here?" Ah, oh, if you're going for the spa, then heck yeah, free spa. I wouldn't knock that. I wish. If you don't want the other services, don't pay wish. for it. Very well. As long as I have something for free, I guess uh, I can do this task. part. Task, let me put in a way you might understand. When you got done with a long fight, did you and the rest of your broodmates ever rub out tension in your muscles to try and recover from combat? What phrasing? Okay, you <laughs> shut up. No, I'm with him. You're gonna really have to fix up that phrasing. I know. I, I know what mate. Uh, Tash just looks over to Greckles. Don't mind the children. I know what mating is, but no, I understand what you're getting at. It might actually be of some help. We have been uh, through a lot, and we're probably I'm physically just, really tense. Well, if that's all that that is, then I don't if, mind I doing just really this. wish Remy could have come with us. I feel like he would have needed that after being on the front for as long as he was. Uh, if he has been dealing with you, then he needed it way more than you Forky think. Forky just kind of looks back and gives, like, he puts his uh, arms out, like, why? Why the drive-by expression? <laughs> why the drive <laughs> well, Anyway. Helga just blinks. Uh, well, unless she we have is going to though. incite you, though, Greckles, because you've oh, been inside. You mentioned you're staring at her. Uh, oh, let me grab her stats. That's a 15 plus her stats. Do I counter roll, or is it a, a number? Mm. Oh, she, I, she actually has inside as proficiency. That's good. <laughs> that is... Oh, oh, if no. she is a monk. 22. If you're trying to hide your emotions, I'd roll a deception, I'd say. But if you're okay. glaring, are you really hiding? Oh, no, she can... It's 16, so I don't know how much I would give away. What is bothering you? And she looks and turns to you, Greckles. You know, Helga, you kind of give us a lot of shit. And I can kind of understand why. But, you know, we've all made our mistakes, and I'm sure you've made your own. And, sad as it may be, we can't exactly explain how we might have atoned for the things that we've done, for the things you may have known, or what you may not have known. So how about you cut us a little goddamn slack once in a while? Mm, wait, she, just... she leans down on the bar counter, leans forward to you. 
Slack breeds weakness. Slack. The world is unrelenting. So am I. She stands back up straight and goes back to cleaning Bor a glass. Is there an awkward silence? Okay, because Borky would silence. like, like to start awkward. clapping by himself for no apparent reason. I'm going to, you know what, just be just before I decide that, all right, so I got these Highlanders that I want, not the Highlanders, the, uh, what was it, the Northlanders? Northlanders, yeah. Northlanders, all right. Well, I got the Northlanders that I want to check out, too, but I guess since we have these tickets, we may as well, right. as well use them. Helga, if Ty comes back, could you please actually just give him a message that I am looking for a certain, uh, bear dish? I will mention this to him, but he has been running around like man with head cut- <laughs> I need better metaphor. Uh, he has been <laughs> running around like man who is running around a lot. I oh, will I talk to him, know. though. That's all I can ask for. Oh, Thank mm. you. And as you say that, you hear a scream from your guys' courtyard. courtyard. Like, it, it, Whoa, like what? You're behind the tavern? <laughs> behind your tavern, where oh Meryl God. just left. Well, let's oh. fucking go. Yeah, let's go. Even Helga shoots up and is at the door. Uh, mm -hmm, along absolutely. with you guys, and you see Meryl just running, like, ah, ah, and sh who's first out with Helga? Borky. Uh, th wait, did the, did the scream sound like Meryl? It uh, was Bor Meryl's scream, yeah. Okay, then uh, pan pan panic's trailing behind, not too far. Uh, Borky, roll oh, reflex. Wow, safe. okay. Oh, oh, I need to actually pull up my sheet. I'm sorry. I'm I'm being a bad player. I'm sorry. I... <laughs> Surprise. Surprise! I made a I made a bad. All right, one second. Hold on. <laughs> a reflex save, you said. Okay, yep. was, uh, was that like, oh, do you mean acrobatics or what? what, is, what is... Reflex save, it's up above. It's a separate box. Dex save. Oh, dexterity save. I, I was about to say, I'm like, I can't be reflexive. It's not a path I'm trying to find. Uh, dexterity saving throw. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> okay, uh, Meryl leaps into your arms and you were like not expecting her like, oh. Uh, so she just kind of flumps to the ground. She goes, ah, there was a giant snake in the courtyard! Like, just grabbing onto you. She how, hides behind how you. Big like, is this, how big is it? Like, shaking. It's massive! It's gotta be at least, like, a, a five feet long! It's a big snake. That's a hell of a snake. Did it stand on two legs? Um, or was it just a snake? She looks at you like your head's caught off. Like, what?! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so not the, not the, not the guy we're thinking of. Okay. Uh, that raises she, even more questions. She grabs a shovel and she hands it to you. No, Pan. no, 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 no. No, she shoves a shovel into Pan. It's like, please, please get rid of it. Please kill it. Oh, like she's just like totally like, oh, like a spider's crawled on her. Uh, real fast, real fast, guys. Apparently, there's a massive echo issue. I'm not hearing it at all, though. Yeah, I'm not hearing it either. I don't I ain't hear uh, it either. No, I, I know we're all hearing headsets, right? Yeah, I don't know yep. what the yeah. echo yep. issue is, guys. In the chat, I do apologize. If that's an issue, try refreshing, because in the end, uh, yeah. All right, continue on, please. Okay. Meryl hands you panic a shovel. Kill it dead. Kill it dead. Mm. Okay. I'm going to I'm gonna put the shovel down. I'm going to go out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peek out, and I'm going to see if I can find this snake. Okay. Roll, roll a perception check. It's snake looking okay. for a snake. I do notice that Keen seems to be reoccurring. You know, I'm gonna help him look for that. So okay. You look out in the courtyard, it's kind of vacant. It's very empty. There's lots of dried leaves now. There's a there's a well in the middle, a lot of empty lots where you could build buildings. And you see an, a, a yellow snake, a giant massive boa, slip around a corner. Hmm. <laughs> Do I... Can I roll a check to see what kind of snake this is? Uh, roll Knowledge Nature. Knowledge Nature... Uh, 22. Nice. Ooh. Definitely not uh, native real, to real, here. Real, real quick. Um, one of our headsets is picking up something and replaying it or something, apparently. Like, a lot of people are complaining. I don't know what to do here. But it might be coming from Snake. Uh, snake, can you check your sound settings? Because it appears to be happening when you talk. Um... I'm, so, I'm, okay. I'm sorry. A lot. Enough um, people are complaining that we have to address it. Uh, like I just. Um, there's apparently no echo. A lot of people. Some people hear, hear the echo. Okay. Then I'm sorry. Okay, guys. Uh, no more. Please, please, no, no more mentioning of the echo in the chat, guys. It's a problem on your end. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Continue on. Yeah. 
The giant, the giant snake, definitely not native to Alabast. It's it's very big. It's like have you ever seen those like yellow? I can't remember what they're called, like those giant like, yellow and like pastel. Like the, those big banana, banana boas. Icons. Banana boas. That's it. Yeah, it's huge. It's way too big. Do I know if it's poisonous or not? Um. Or, or dead or uh, deadly at all. Um, if you make it mad, maybe. It'll definitely bite you and hurt you. Poisonous, I mean, you're a tiefling, aren't you? I don't I don't think they have resistance to poison. Do they? I thought they did. No. No, that's just I fire. Have, I have oh, resistance okay. to fire. Resistance fire, that's it. Uh, I'm gonna say no, you don't know, because I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you don't, I, I do know. I was gonna say, it's, just a, it's just a snake. You know, but banana bows are poisonous. They are okay. Oh. Well, I don't know that. Like, boas so. in boa, boas in boas general are constrictors. Are not, yeah. Yeah, 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 they're not poisonous yeah. in general. I'm sorry, I never worked the just reptile a department. Snack. So, just a... are you gonna so, point out? Are you gonna point out the snake to the rest of us? I'm right there with you. Uh, yeah. Pan Panic's gonna look back and be like, "Look at this big fucking snake." <laughs> Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where did it run off to? Or slither yeah. off to? It's just. Right out there. Do we see it? Yeah, you see it. Now the tail right, slips so around the corner. I guess I'll... I will give Chase... I was going to roll handle animal, but since it's too far away... I'll give Chase behind. Wait, wait so in, it, is there like a box or a cage we can we can get big enough to fit this thing? Oh my god, will you quit being such a baby? Mm, no. Meryl's just hiding behind Helga now. Like, just grabbing Helga. I'm not I'm trying like, to get, to the, I'm trying to get it out of the middle of the road safely. It's on the road. It's it's in your back courtyard. There, it's in the back courtyard. I was, I was going to go after is there and a handle giant, animal, is there a, but I have is there a, a giant I stick that Borky can poke it with? Uh, there is a, there is a like a bush that has a bunch of sticks like caught in it. Borky wants to grab bush. a really nice <laughs> stick from that bush. Can Borky go? Okay, you, you find a nice stick. It's kind of got a Y can shape can to Borky it. Slowly get to like, how long is this thing? It's like can six can... feet long. Oh my god, this is like the greatest enemy of the unexpectable is a five-foot boa. Oh my god, I'm rolling hand <laughs> I'm about to do, I'm about to do a bit! Alright, you, you... Alright, you... go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Is, I, so Borky, uh, how long is the stick Borky has, though? It's Excellent. like four Borky, feet long. Um, Borky very carefully, very carefully, just go with the stick, walks forward at edges, and I pokes it in the head a little bit. Just like... It like, looks up at you? Doesn't blink because they don't have eyelids. <laughs> Flicks its tongue and keeps slithering down the empty hallway. It's like it's like a skeleton of a building. Like there's there's the remnants of an old building. Um, and eventually, you watch as the snake begins to coil around a form standing in the shadows, all the way. And its gleaming eyes look at you. And then two other eyes open up, orange eyes, and turns and looks at you as well. It's been. Some time. Yes, it has. Pardon my time. rudeness towards your little human friend. It's all right. She doesn't know. She's from the outskirts. She doesn't really have is a Meryl, lot of adventuring experience. Is Meryl still there? Meryl doesn't see where Hasrod is. Hasrod's behind a corner. If you guys are following the snake, you've you've, you've been brought to Hasrat at this point. Well, yeah, Panic is going to turn to Meryl and just say, "Go back inside, Meryl. We'll we'll take care of this." Okay, thank you. She like grabs Helga like for dear life, and Helga's like, "Stop the crushing on." Okay, she like leads her inside. <laughs> Any particular reason for this visit, Hasrat? Um, hmm, how do I um say this? With it, with, with... Um. Can I live here for uh, a bit? Yeah, sure. What did you? What? what? For no, what reason? Wait, why? 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 Uh, well, uh, every man's gone on a little excursion, and uh, that leaves Tiengo in charge, and um, he doesn't really like anyone. So things in the underbelly at the moment are a little um, mm. scarce. So to speak. Do you have a criminal record on you? Of course, are, you, are you kidding uh, Tice, me? I'm an idiot, and I know he's got a criminal record. Okay. <laughs> How bad of one? Yeah, it, okay, you okay, know. okay. How if you can you count the amount of people you've killed on one, two, 
or someone else's hand you've cut off. Mm, well, I haven't killed anyone personally, <laughs> but I may have gotten some Maybe. people killed. All right, I'm gonna insight on this. <laughs> oh, that's a big. That's a big six. He looks good. <laughs> All right, I have a plan. I want it bef before I give Hasrad this information. I also want to just turn to the other guys. One second, we will discuss this and we huddle? will give you an answer. We doing a huddle? I want to turn to. Yep, yeah, but no, this is the huddle. Yeah, this huddles in. everyone else. If we if we keep him around, under one condition, if law enforcement find him, he is on. If we immediately throw him under so the that, bus. So not, but like, what's a bus? We, <laughs> fair enough. If we under a carriage, if we if the if authorities come and find him, then he's on his own. Other than that, should I we, say uh, we can. If we can. say yes to him living with us, should he have like a job in the bar, like so that he could be like? That would actually probably be a bad idea. If he's wanted, someone would likely turn him in. The best thing to probably do is charge him for safe haven. He's got the money. Boy, boy, head up. Do you have a lot of money? <laughs> Goes on down. He might he not have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> well, then if he can't make it worth our while, boy, I don't see why his... we should put him up. All right. Well, then, then we'll ask him that. I Again, as long as he can give us something in return, I do not see the harm in it. And again, throw him under the carriage if What's law enforcement right. comes. Right. You know what? Oh fuck you! A little bit, just a, sweet... <laughs> just a little bit. All right, turn back to Hasrad. You can stay so long as you can offer us something in return. Mm. Don't I work Does for you? Work you? For us? No, I mean, you don't. You don't work for us. You're a tradesman for us. There's a difference. It's independent, or, or taste. He's uh, contract work. Can we offer him exposure? You said it, Hasrad, you said it yourself when we first met. A deal for a deal. Take it or leave it. Oh, I do not like it when my words are used against me, but that's fair. Hmm. What could I give you? Let's see. He begins pawing around in his satchels. Oh, yes. I suppose this will have to do. And he pulls out a tiny pendant with a hummingbird at the end of it, made out of what looks like clear quartz. And what's this? This is a two-for-one sort of deal. You said you wanted something, except for I'm not exactly the one who goes out and stabs animals in the middle of the woods. I want to stay here because, frankly, I'm terrified of Tiengo, as everyone should be. He's a big guy. All right, so let me take a look at this pendant. Okay, it is a tiny pendant. It's like a phone charm. It's super small. Um, it is... Does anybody want to use it? Are you going to use Identify on it, Panic? Yep. Yeah, I can use Identify yeah, yeah. on it. I, I, just imagine, cast I just imagine you just put your hand right. over. It is a hummingbird of scrying but it doesn't scry as a spell. Um, you guys ever play Wind Waker? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know the, the pairs you put on your head and you control a seagull? Yes. For two minutes, you can basically control this hummingbird. Oh, wait, not two minutes. Sorry, let me double check. Let me double check here. Uh... Oh, for 30 minutes, you can control the hummingbird. Wow. Um, it has a plus 10 to stealth. Um, and basically you control the hummingbird for 30 minutes and you can basically overhear or like use it basically as kind of a scout. Um, you are able to retain what the hummingbird learns. Um, however, when you use this item, you immediately take a hummingbird pose with your arm at stretch, like stretched oh. out like a T pose and you cannot move or take any action while you are in control of the hummingbird. If you lose control of the hummingbird, the hummingbird immediately turns back into a pendant and will drop to the ground I'm, wherever you cancel it. That's fantastic. So, ap so after we've just learned all of this, I assume Snake, you're gonna Snake explain that to that. us. Yeah, I, he relays this information. Alrighty. I like this. This is very good. I say this is a month's worth of rent. He does that thing where he lifts up the charm and grabs it in his 
middle of his palm. I got other places no, 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 I could go. Stay. No, 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 Tars, 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 He begins Tars. to walk away. Let him find you can stay. He turns around with this big snakish grin showing his teeth. And there you go. And he hands it to you. How doofy is the smile? It's pretty doofy. He's got the little, like, little, <laughs> like... Is, is he DreamWorks facing us? Oh, my it's God. Kind of not, not a smug like, sly if, grin. If, it's if, like if, a puppy if, dog grin with a little cat, like, uwu. Well, no, because it's like, if Hasrod's, like, a venomous snake, the fangs fold in, so they'd be, like, half bent out, and it would just be the <laughs> doofiest looking thing ever. Um... Greckles is actually going to approach him just in, in whisper distance. I will get you the stats for that item later, by the way. All right. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can only use it once per day item, as well. That's great. Yep. So, uh, Hasrad, if you might be interested in uh, some other sources of income, I have a proposition for you. Mm. I'm looking for something to give me a little bit of a edge in battle raises a hand say no more and he pulls out a bunch he pulls out one vial for how you. much how much you want 450 gold pieces and it's all yours greckles pulls out like the giant wad of gold so where'd you get it and what does it do and you you see a small I'm trying to make sure that the other guys don't hear this. This is a very whispered conversation. But you guys see this giant sneer, just slow, like a sneery smile scroll over his face. This is a Hasrad special serpent venom. I farm it in-house. It's organic. That's got no, no pollution. Huh. You don't yes. hear that. Oh, okay. You don't hear it. Thank you. But I love the bit. Anything else you can tell me about it? Does it kill quickly? Does it mm. injure, bleed? Give, Have you ever give... been bitten by a snake? Ah, uh, good to know. All right, straightforward. I like that style. Here's Pretty your money. Pretty self-explanatory. Just put it on a weapon, give a little cut, and bada bing, bada boom, as the humans would say. But I'm on, Alice. See, Asrod, I love it when you're straightforward like this. Hands him the gold. Yeah. <laughs> eh. All right. What was that sound? Eh. 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 I was reading your poison at the same time. Yeah, he shrugs. And then he actually just like opens up what looks like an abandoned shed and just oh, makes himself have... at home. Oh, okay. So we have a venom fucking... <laughs> we, have, we have a venom flake vendor do you borky roll perception check borky, but okay just, just do i would i would actually sleight of hand check to make sure they didn't see the vile 12, exchange 12 perception nadine okay uh the the, the floor is moving um excuse me what the, the floor is moving hasred has a lot of his oh, pets there oh Oh, you may want to be. If you are going to be staying here, you may want to uh, beware the human child in the lodgings. She's kind of afraid of snakes. Oh, come on. Let me have some fun. Borky's just T posing right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Borky's like carefully shuffling away. Like, it's. <laughs> Tash like holds his eyes, just like finger, like puts his fingers into his eyes, just like. The snakes can frighten, but not harm. It is. Of course, it's they do a bit frightened right now, you know what I mean? There's just a lot of them. Tash just like looks over and looks down at the at the giant like fucking banana boa constrictor. It's not yeah, poisonous. It yeah, that's Harold. He's don't, he's don't, a good don't snake. Mess up. Don't piss off Harold, Tash. He'll eat you. Anyway, I'm going to get some sleep. <laughs> Bye. And he just closes the door. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually. I'm, I'm gonna race inside and like explain the exchange to Helga and everyone else that this is this is someone who's staying here. We have a, we have a house guest. He's staying. His name is Sinbad. And um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, do you do that? You go and you talk to Helga. Oh yeah, no, I I 
I I go in and I explain to everyone who's inside the tavern like who this man is and he's going to be staying here. You are letting criminals stay in tavern. Helga, it, this wasn't it, this what? wasn't a democracy. It wasn't a it wasn't a unanimous that, decision. It sounds bad. While helping a downtrodden person who's made mistakes. Yeah, yeah, that's good. If you want to get technical, we've all been criminals. Careful. <laughs> Careful indeed. Very well. As long as he does not come into main tavern, and as long as he keeps his pets out of my reach, we are fine. If not, I will punch him, and I will have a new belt by dawn. Oh, trust us. You're allowed to do that. Excellent. Meryl, at this point, is gathering up her things, and she walks up to you, Pan, and goes, Did you kill the snake? I took care of it. Don't worry. Oh, thank you Just, so uh, much. In the future, try not to go out the back. But I, I have to sweep up out there. Tell you what. I will sweep up out there. You don't have to sweep out back anymore. Oh, uh, awesome. She hands you the room. <laughs> Fantastic. I have school. Uh, bye. And she just runs out the door. Oh, bye, Helga. Helga's like, okay, have fun. Good luck. And she leaves. All right, well... I mean, either we pay a visit to this romantian, or else I'm gonna go try to find out more about these uh, no real, uh, real, Northlanders. Real, real quick, Borky would like to do something too. Actually, here before before we leave. Uh, what's up? Borky walks up to Helga. Okay, Helga, you and me, we get along pretty well. Um, but one of the things, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you and me, we get it. But like, um, I'm gonna be very careful. I need. A letter written. Could someone write me a letter? I can't. I can't write. Someone. Task size pulls uh, out a piece of dear paper. Dear Tarp Orpington. Take a note, Task. Dear Tarp Orpington. I found and traded a pretty gem for two giant chicken eggs. These are giant chicken eggs. Well, I don't know. If there's like had a dad, or there's just gonna be like breakfast, but uh, if they if these had a dad and they become big chickens, then we could have giant chicken eggs every day. So like, what I'm thinking is like we could like maybe, like I don't know, like have them outside, and maybe if Task is nice, he'll let us let us heat them up in his room. But I'll get to that later. Read that back to me, Task. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Task is just drawing a picture of him stabbing. Borky there's a picture of a there's a picture of Dick no, Butt and it's Borky's face. No, it's, <laughs> it's, did you actually write? I needed. I didn't need you to write that. It 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 seems like you wrote it, it down pretty well. Because I don't want him to cook these, but I don't want him to come with me to romance you in case law like, my bag gets stolen and he's just so. Dear Ty, we um, have two giant chicken eggs in storage. We would like to see if they can actually be raised into giant chickens. Please do not use exactly. any ingredients. Um, I also, how are you? I missed you. <laughs> Tash just hands Morty the paper to Helga. Takes out Thank both you. eggs and like walks to the back and like puts like a pan, like two pans down and just puts the eggs kind of just using the pans to like hold them up so they don't roll around. Just like, Okay. Puts the note there. Backing up slowly. Bows and leaves. Okay. All right. Okay. So I guess we'll go to the romantian, I guess. Let's do it. All righty. You guys head out. Uh, at this point, it's about noon. Um, it seems like Merrill's school starts midday. Um, you hear bustle of the city. You hear people setting up their, their carts and their stalls. You see it, Ben, the blacksmith now, brought in another horse and is working. Uh, sorry, let me just find my medieval town. There we go. And looking at the tickets that you have, um, who has the one with the lipstick on it? Panic. <laughs> Panic. Panic, you have the one with the lipstick on it. You ask a silly question, Nadine. You... Makes sense. <laughs> I know. Uh, flipping around the other side, there is actually a map. It shows you like kind of like a touristy map where, where to go. Um, you guys make your way actually to the Druidic District, uh, the lower Druidic District, 
and the, the big forest, you see the animals running around, kind of like a uh, nature um, preserve in a way. Out of character real fast. Um, oh, never mind. Actually, sorry. Go on. Okay. Uh, you guys head on forward and you go through uh, the door, which leads into the mansion. And the man what, what, what working is the, the, what does the mansion look the like? border. What? You don't oh, know? Is it like a, it's, it's underground? Are, are, are we at it? You're you're not in there yet. It's in the entertainment district. Of we the just city. entered the entertainment district. Oh, we just entered the entertainment district. Oh. No, you're not even in the entertainment district. You're at the the. So I we of the we missed. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. oh. No, it's okay. Uh, basically, you guys walk up where the juridic district meets up with the entertainment district, and as you uh, walk up, the guard, unlike all the other guards you've seen in the city, is wearing a masquerade mask, the most colorful outfit. He looks like what a color? carnival worker. And it's like purples and deep reds and like dark, stark yellows with bells oh, wow. on it. The whole works. I feel we... like this is the weirdest possible intersection of two districts. A little bit, right? <laughs> what I mean, do you guys see? see? Hello see there. My town. name's Bulky. I, I did. Oh, Hello! Oh my god. <laughs> He like waves his hand like like a pizza guy with a Hello. sign like oh my god. <laughs> Are you going I, into the I don't know, but you're today? Talk about panic and Borky just grabs panic and puts him in front of him. <laughs> yes. Why hello there? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Panic, panic, go on. We we are going into the romansion. <laughs> Yes. Oh, is it your first time in the Romansion? Well, yes. May I see your tickets, yep. please? <laughs> yes. Why? Are, why? Why? What's up with panic? Yes. He needs to go there very badly. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he takes the tickets, he thumbs through, and he goes, Oh, have a, have a good time, and he hands the tickets back to you. Oh, he yeah. thinks you, oh no! <laughs> oh no! Panic says, hell yeah. It's going to be the best vacation ever. Let's you go. You guys walk into the district, and it's small. It's a small district. There's a few, like, puppet shows going on. There's, there's big Ooh. opera houses. Um, and there is one building, just not like the rest, this giant mansion just perched in the center. And there's lights, and there's there's lots of carriages around there, too. And there's balloons and everything. It's well-kept, super clean, almost like a theme park in a way. Nice. Mm-hmm. And you notice some couples are getting into the carriages, and they're being driven out to the other districts. And you notice a few paladins of Uspa who are laughing and joking and talking to each other. Uh, some people coming in, people going. Um, you even see like like a group of five ladies walking out with their hair all done. They look great, and they're laughing and joking, and they have like little packages of of goodies that they got from the romance. Yep. You guys approach. Oh, so. Let's all go to Let's the row mansion. To the row. To the row. To the row mansion. Let's all go to the row. Okay. Okay. I stomached that enough the first time around, Taka. Please don't <laughs> make me live that nightmare. Oh, you mean? Okay, we'll do it this version then. <laughs> hey, hey, Monty. I'm just. I'm. I'm gonna do a look around. Does anything Does... look off? Anything look off? Roll a perception check. What do you mean by off? Like. It's it's kind of weird being here, so I'm a little. Uh, Greckles is a little on edge. Okay. So, like if there's if there's any like weird disturbances, anyone like behind a building, and just anything weird going on. You do see, see people talking like in alleyways, but it's it's like people laughing and joking, like people having a good time. Um, you see that they're playing cards or something. Not gambling. It looks like they're just playing a card game. Right. Um, it's you'd think it would be really like weird and skeevy, but it's really not. Like this mm. district is actually like pretty safe looking. Like it looks well kept. Um, mm. this is definitely not like a tavern sort of establishment. It it actually has a lot of refinery to it. Oh, mm. dude, you know what I hear? You know that town, like the town that's always eclipsed in night in Final Fantasy Nine. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
The one with oh, the really sick piano yeah. track. Oh, ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He needs all about that FF9. I love Final <laughs> Fantasy IX. Dude, um, I need to. Oh, Aldebert Steiner. Anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Um, no, he's my favorite character. Um, so you guys make your way up to the building? I suppose so. Okay. What's the building? What's the building look like? It is beautiful. It, it's made out of wood and stone, uh, painted this really deep purple. Um, and there's lanterns hanging from above the doors. You see multiple windows with these lovely red curtains on the inside. Uh, it's huge. It's a huge place. Um, you see a couple um, maids cleaning up the front porch and people getting ready for you know the beginning of the day. Um, but there's two giant front doors which are propped open with two guards on either side, like kind of like bouncers. Uh, one is a Goliath. The other one is a, a very large human. Um, and they're just kind of, they're not even like checking in, they're just kind of gazing over to make sure things are okay. And even them, they're wearing very nice refined doublet suits uh, with their hair combed back nicely. Um, and you notice that there's also waiting at the front door, uh, men and women of, of equal stature, uh, kind of waiting what, what are their outfits at the like ready. Like? Um, they range from very gorgeous suits to very refined dresses. Um, some are just kind of wearing some, some loose linen types of clothing, like adventuring gear, mm. that sort of thing. Uh, they look like okay. they work there, though. I don't know you about you boys. Oh, go ahead. I don't know about you boys, but I feel like we're a little bit out of our league. Ha. <laughs> <laughs> All except you, Panic, because of course. Thank you. Addendum accepted. Can't wait to see what happens with uh, your ticket. You don't want to see what happens well, with my ticket. The worst case scenario <laughs> would be they just tell us to leave. We'll be fine. Look. No, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm saying that to Greckles. I'm not saying that to you. I'm just like Greckles. The worst case scenario would just be they tell us to leave. Eh? Greckles, so, Greckles just gives a big old shrug if you say so. They're As you guys. Uh, oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's... We're not coming here to make a scene. We are going here to relax, and deservedly so. So let's just forget about everything else. Just have a good time. Get pampered. Maybe oh, have, have drinks. drinks. Maybe? I don't know. Let's get drinks awesome. afterwards, if not. Yay. Okay. As you guys head up to the front door, uh, a halfling uh, actually like walks forward to you at the ready. She's wearing a very nice red velvet gown her hair's done in these giant blonde ringlets she goes oh hello there Good evening. yes hello are you here for the romance well i suppose so with this ticket <laughs> yes we are oh excellent my name's ophelia i will be your guide today let's take a look at what you're getting and she reaches up a hand now i'll put it in put my ticket mm -hmm. yep Oh, spa treatment. Oh, the ultimate spa package. How lucky. Oh. Here you go. That includes, uh, let me just pull out my pamphlet here. Uh, that includes, oh, a beautiful oh, sauna nice. treatment. Mm -hmm. A 45 minute, minute massage. Oh, Ooh, you get to oh. enjoy the comfort oh. pools as yes. well as a beautiful oh. charcoal facial yes. and a manicure and pedicure. Yes. A uh, quick question. Yes. Greckles just holds out his talons. Oh, sweetie, we cater to all races here at the Romansion. Oh, that's good to know. Mm-hmm. Why, we'll make them shine like diamonds, my dear. Oh. And she pats her hand. Uh, out of curiosity, uh, how much would the ultimate spa package be without these tickets? Oh, the ultimate spa package would be uh, 1,200 gold pieces. Yep, yeah, worth it. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Yeah, very well. Alrighty, follow me. And she leads you inside. And the moment you walk inside this building, you are smashed with the scent of various different aromas. <laughs> I bet we're smashed, lavender. all right. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> Snake, please. Wow, wow. Um, Wink. It's like... It's like walking into, like, honestly, lush, like, uh, like a nice, like, not perfume section, but like a nice bath, like, store, like a small, 
Ha, ha, bath shop. So so we're talking we're talking Bed Bath or yeah we're talking about like Bed Bath and Beyond versus um Abercrombie and Fitch, right? Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't know Bed Bath and Beyond's just a store. Is. We're talking about Lush. You don't know what Lush is. Lush is a Canadian store where you walk in, it just it smells like just the concept of a good smell. What? Taka. Some of us are Canadian. I'll explain to you what Lush is. <laughs> uh, it's kind of like uh yeah, it's kind of like Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't know what the other one is, but it's like do you know what like do you know what do you, do you know what Sears is? Yes. <laughs> yes. yes, yes, we do. Okay, so like a Sears, <laughs> but you know, instead of grandma smell, it actually smells <laughs> nice. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Shots fired at Sears. Damn! Oh no! <laughs> Unexpected was brought to you by J C Penney's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh no, no. Oh, it's okay. Sponsor, it's sponsor, sponsor off the list. It's okay. It's okay, <laughs> guys. They're all gonna go bankrupt anyway. It's true. <laughs> Um, Ophelia leads you in, and you see now there is a multitude of staircases. There's beautiful uh, uh, candle lanterns. There's plush flooring. There's people talking to each other. Would you like this package? Like, offering things like that. Uh, and you see, like, just all sorts of people. You see gnomes, you see dwarves, you see elves, you see, like, gnolls, you see dragonborn, you see oh. other orcs, you see... Um, just all kinds of people walking um, who, around. Um, and what, some are our patrons. They appear to be some people in military uniform are laughing it up and they have ladies under like each of their arms. And there's even like one female soldier who's got two guys flanking her and she's just laughing her head off having nice. a good time. Uh, qu 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 people, qu same quick quick question, how delicious do the bath bombs look here? Uh, you don't okay. know because you don't see any. They appear to have mm. incense uh, sticks, which is where the smell okay. is coming from. All is, right, the spa treatment is down uh, this uh, way. Follow me. Is, is there music playing in this place? Uh, there is some ambiance. You see some bards just playing some low viola sort of things, really avant-garde sort of music. <laughs> <laughs> this is nice. Not, this is nice. A critic. It's, it's the place is warm, too. Like, it was a little chilly outside. Fall was starting to creep its way in, but now you're inside, you're, you're feeling warm. And as Ophelia leads you down the hallway, um, she brings you to a room where the curtains are drawn back. She goes, all right, well, uh, here you go. Here is a contract. And she pulls out a sheet of paper. Contract. During the duration of your stay in the spa, we ensure that all of your personal belongings will be safe under uh, our guarded what? mimic. I, I, you got it, what? We have a locker room, so to speak, and some of them are mimics. To prevent hmm. the theft, of course. What's it mimicking? What's it? Well, Borky doesn't, Bork, Would Borky doesn't like know what a know. fucking mimic is. <laughs> Bork. It's like a very special god. Uh, okay, god, we got one dear. of those, but he's a dragon. Oh, that's delightful. Anyway, the contract outlines that we are responsible for any damages lost, uh, but we hope that you will follow the rules. Obviously, do not assault oh. our employees, do not offend mm. our employees, and please do not steal anything that does not belong to you. Uh, with the Extreme Spa uh, package, you will get one free scent candle oh. upon your leaving of the spa. Can I incite her in, in terms of like keeping our stuff safe? Yep. Yeah. 18. 18? She's not lying. This, 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 this is a call. very professional yeah. establishment. Yeah, it's pretty professional, and she she means when she says, like, e your stuff will be safe or we will reimburse you. Okay. Yeah. All right, sweet. You you never can tell, guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you will all have a complimentary towel um, and bathrobe as yep. well, if you'd like, for traveling between the different road la uh, relaxation stations, uh, out, out as character, you will. We are all wearing the bathrobes, right? Like, we're all, that's what's happening? Well, yes. you're getting sent okay. into a changing room where you can okay. put your stuff okay. Okay. away. I just want Tess to like waddle in with this look at it and just be like, what animal did they kill to make this? <laughs> okay. Uh, really quick really <laughs> question. Mm -hmm. Is um, is free balling okay? And I know that sounds weird. <laughs> just let me ask that question. Is that you okay? gonna ask her? You're gonna have to ask free balling. Okay. Okay. I didn't. I didn't know if that was in the information. I didn't want to draw attention to it. I was going to check, like, pamphlets and stuff on, on like, protocol and whatnot. But if, is it not there? No, you could ask. Just ask her. Uh, excuse me, miss. Yes. Uh, where I'm from, we're not really Oh, you're from 
the Eastern Isles. Yes, of course. Um, yes, you you can. <clears throat> uh, you can okay. bathe as you do there. The only thing is you must be first uh, okay, your compatriots, since you are sharing this spa treatment together. As long as they're okay, then you're fine. Uh, between the rooms, we ask that you keep covered out of respect to the other patrons. Well, I suppose if I don't have any other choice. And he, and he gives just a small guffaw. Ah. <laughs> Well, I will leave you at the expert care of your um, masseuses. Have fun. She wanders off. I get to choose who your masseuses. Are. Who's a masseuse? Who's the masseuse masseuse? <laughs> oh, we all get our own private ones. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I'm going to write that which one you guys get. Panic is just, is, is just closing his eyes, leaning back, and just like, Yes, I deserve these. <laughs> I, uh, me, me. I am. Me. I am reminded of the scene. Uh, I am reminded of the scene from Rush Hour Two, where uh, Chris Tucker's picking out the ladies to give them massages. Ha, I want that oh, one right God, there. Give me a good look. That. Yeah. Her, her, her. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm just writing down your guys' masseuses that you get. Masseuse. From from yeah. the from the one d one hundred of masseuses. Uh, I have a lot of characters for this place. Yes. 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 The Romantian is the most fleshed out place in all of Alabama. <laughs> Don't even talk to me right now about this. <laughs> all right, all right, this. All right, and oh, my favorite one is coming out. All right, yay! All right, I can't even write down their name. It's too long. All right. <laughs> As you guys emerge out of your changing room, you are immediately met with a beautiful elf woman with long, like, silver hair, and she's got kind of a tiara going on. She's got a beautiful necklace and a beautiful white kind of nurse gown, in a way. Um, and then it comes down to a, a set of sort of short uh, pants, like kind of like, um, what are they called? Capri pants? Or it's not like shorts and it's not like pants. It's kind of between. Um, they're very, very nice. Um, and she's kind of got her arms, like, uh, held together at the front. You see a tabaxi woman who looks like a Persian cat. Um, and her hair is done up in ribbons and bows. And she's also wearing very nice attire as well. And you see a, a elegant human woman with sort of short, brought back into a ponytail. Um, and she's kind of wearing the same garb as the elf. And then you see a giant six foot tall construct with spikes and metal. Um, <laughs> and they're just standing there. How tall there is the, the construct? Well. Oh boy. Six feet tall. And they have like spikes on them. They're mostly made out of steel. They also don't have a face. It's just like a giant metal plate. Is his name fit? Is it? Please lay down. <laughs> no, it's about to fucking sit. You can call me Fi You can call me Fisto. Hot rock, hot rock protocols activated. Um, do we just, do we just get to, do we just get to pick? Uh, I want. Oh no, get to pick. Uh, sure, you get to pick. Oh, no, 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 I call oh, that actually, lady. You know what, you know what, you know what, you know oh, what, everybody yes. roll initiative for this. Oh, yeah, this, this oh, is yes. it. Oh, fuck. God damn it, I rolled eight. Oh, 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 oh Initiative oh, eight. eight. Guess who's in, guess, guess who's hanging <laughs> out with this, though? Who's faster? Oh, that's gotta be Greco's that faster. That would probably be me. All right, so it's, it's task, it's the first pick. Human. Cool. <laughs> Uh, then... I'll, I'll take Cat Lady. Okay, Vicky, and then... Panic. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. All right. Task, who are you getting? Human, human, you're human. Taking... Okay, you're taking the human. The uh, You walk up to the human, and she bows to you very politely, and she goes, my name is Tala, pleasure to meet you. And she extends a hand. Tass will take her hand. Uh, very very gently gives you a handshake. Yes, introduces himself as well. My name is Task. Uh, you'll have to for you'll have to forgive me. I'm uncertain as to how this works. Oh, uh, well, I'm actually an expert at um, dragonborn, kobold, and uh, lizard folk uh, spa treatments. I'm actually a specialist. So very well. All of us are trained in quite various different ways. I hope that you are relaxed by the end <laughs> of this. If that's the point of this whole place, I hope so as well. 
All right, we'll start with the bath, and she she leads you. Greckles, who you taking? Kitty lady. Okay. She goes up to you and goes, Yeah, I'm princess. Yeah. Oh, yeah! <laughs> well, hello, oh, princess. My, my, I'm Greckles. It's an absolute pleasure to meet you. Mm, by the end of this, you'll feel like a prince. And she oh, purrs and she takes okay. your arm. <laughs> You see, Gre- you see Greckles turn his his head like all the way back facing you guys, and like gives a little a doofy grin and like poofs a little bit. <laughs> I want in my yeah. head canon right now is panic is so lost in the great pleasure he's about to get that he's not paying attention. That's like my head canon. <laughs> he's just do- he's just doing the Bobby Roode glorious <laughs> pose, just <laughs> eyes closed. Borky, who are you taking? Pray, oh. <laughs> okay, the elf goes. My name is Crystal. Is it that, is a pleasure to meet oh, you. And she bows nice to, to you. you. My name is Borky, and if possible, uh, uh, this is Gripples. He would like to take a bath as well. Oh, what an adorable statue. I would be happy to. And she takes Gripples and walks with you. It's <laughs> the, the, the lowest of... <gasps> this is good. Panic as you watch your compatriots. <laughs> as you... Yes. No, 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 no. We have such sights to show. <laughs> oh my god. Um, panic, as you see your compatriots leave and you walk out, finally done, you look up and you see a giant hulking construct looking down at you. <laughs> hello, you bot. Uh, hello. Hi. Oh. Uh, I'm Panic. I assume you're my masseuse. Yes, my name is the straightforward good time. I like you already. Let's do this. Excellent. Right now. <laughs> I can't wait for the fan art. Oh full name. Full name. The straightforward good time. <laughs> you guys are suckers. I just nailed that. Uh, uh, oh god, go. go. Okay, we're doing oh. So what comes next? <laughs> All right, you guys are led into a room with giant bronze basins that are like giant tubs, and there's there's bubbling like beautiful bath water in there, and each masseuse leads you into your bath, and they they generally ask you well, what what kind of uh, of of scent would you like for your bath, like kind of asking you what you want. Like a good one. Oh, I can get that for you easily. And she begins to pour oil in there. You can enter Sweet. when you wish. Or he fine. just like just t- one toe goes in, just brrr, he like melts into it. Oh my god! It's it's like the perfect temperature. Like it's not too hot and it's not cold at all. It's just like nice warm water. Like you feel your muscles relax the moment. Silly question, you enter just for purpose for purpose of the conversation, just the full setting. Now, these rooms are these rooms separate or are they all just one giant room together? The bathroom is like just a giant room. Um, it's got beautiful like like uh, tiles on it, like mosaic okay. tiles of dragons and like griffins. It's very 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 gorgeous. Um, is it just one tub, or do we all have separate tubs? You all have your own separate tub. Uh, oh, nice. nice. Uh, <laughs> I'll uh, Greckles will look over to Princess. Uh, do you have something in the an early February plum? Oh. Early February. That is a hard one. Hmm. And she begins to go through some some vials eventually, popping one open and pouring it into the tub, and you get the nice, sweet springtime aroma. Very deep, subdued smell. Oh, um, Task, your bath is a bit different. Um, it's not water. It's mud. Mud boy. Oh, sick. All right. I hope that this is accommodating for you. I know that some kobolds prefer the water bath, such as the blue ones. No, this is quite fine. I'm actually rather shocked that this is on par for what I was thinking this would go. Oh, excellent. Uh, the owner of the Romanchin believes that all races should be 
accommodated. All right, Tess will get on in. This is uh, a way more relaxed than he was before, now knowing that it's like, oh shit, they did their homework. Mm -hmm. It's the moment you go in, it's like super nice and you can almost feel the clay just moisturizing the scales. Oh, dope. Sweet. Okay. Yeah, it's super nice. Uh, panic. Straightforward <laughs> oh, no. good time looks at you. <laughs> and just, <laughs> looks towards the bath and then looks towards you and goes, I believe the temperature is optimal. Uh, panic looks down. What, what is he looking at? Uh, a bubbling pool of uh, water in a in a basin. Okay. Panic will slide on in. Okay. What aroma would you like? Uh, something something masculine but pleasant. Masculine but pleasant. Okay. And they like <laughs> walk away. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would not feel comfort hearing clicking and whirring noises from behind. Do we do we see do we see ripples within our basins as it walks? Uh, the basin's already bubbling. Um, you assume by some sort of magical means. It's oh, actually like a jacuzzi so nice. tub. Ooh, um, sick. Yeah, you don't like. There's no jets. There's nothing. It's just magic. Apparently, the basins themselves might be. Um, eventually, straightforward good time comes back uh, with some bottles and begins I'm, to just drop things into your into your bath. I'm assuming the water is is the optimal temperature and it is relaxing. Perfect. It's excellent. Uh, um, straightforward good time also hands off some other bottles to the other masseuses. Uh, they begin to pour like it's almost like a cauldron, a human cauldron in a way. Um, but it's super relaxing. They pour minerals in there to help the skin. They pour other things. Task, you're the only one who's not getting a whole lot, uh, considering that your mud bath kind of covers all those bases. Right on. But you guys just sit there and relax. You just hear the, the, the bubbling of the water, the dripping of water from the ceiling. And the masseuses just stand at ready for whatever you want. Um, do you guys I, want tea I or anything? Like, um, or... Uh, could, I, uh, could I have... Your 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 most powerful alcohol in your fanciest mug. Um, oh, we can get you alcohol uh, after the baths. We cannot give you alcohol in the baths uh, due to like, the heat what, of the water. What if, like, I really want it though. I'm afraid oh, that breaks our protocol. I, I don't... But here, and she puts down a little bronze bowl and like scoops out some of your water and places it next to you and puts oh, gripples in it. Oh, it's good. It's good. Is that feel? Is that feeling good for you, Grip? Or is this feeling good for me? And we yeah. deserve this, don't we? We deserve. Damn what we do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. I cannot make dangerous um, accommodations, but I can. I can do this special accommodations. Oh, I don't good. mind. Thank you, though. Mm. Please tell me if there's anything else that you need. What, uh, how do you, is oh, it sorry. crazy with an I or like a Y? It is spelled uh, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L. That's a very pretty name. That is my escort name. Okay. Oh. I, uh, my, my, what? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it, Porky. It is my so, name, and oh, she pats okay, you cool. gently on the shoulder. Cool, 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 cool. Would so you like hard. a towel? She hands you a towel. Task, you were saying something? Sorry. Uh, Task is just gonna, like, now, like, getting into the spirit of this, finally, like, it's not, he's not as, like, paranoid as to what the fuck was going on around here. He's gonna turn to Talon and go, I'm not certain what can be offered to me at this time, but I'd like to be surprised. <laughs> well, I hope you're not too surprised. I hope it's more of a relaxing thing. No surprises. Hmm. Would you like some water or a towel? The task like kind of like like arches a brow at the towel thing. Yes, water then. Excellent. And she goes and gets you water. I hit my microphone. Sorry, Austin. Um, she goes and gets you water. So, uh, princess. <laughs> yes. I would absolutely adore a good oolong tea. Do you have that? Oh, I can get that for you right away. And she oh, gets that sounds up. heavenly. She comes back in like two minutes. Perfect temperature oolong tea. Oh. 
By the way, Princess, my my shoulders have been hurting really bad. Me and the boys have been through a lot. Do you think you can work out some knots? Oh, when we get you on the tables, you will be perfectly loose at the end. Bekaifer, he's got hollow bones. Oh, I am an expert at kink. Oh, that's great, eh, Crackle? He brought, he brought, he, he brought, he brought fist. Uh, yeah, yeah, that felt good, right? But the, the bro fist is up. I, I want, I want chat to imagine, like, in, in my head canon, I wish this were real, but in my head canon, like, you see Greckles just, like, in duck form in this bath, like, all feathers <laughs> poofed up, like, small splashes here and there. I just, like, doing oh, the like, actual bird bath thing? Like, yeah, it's like actual putting bird your head on, putting, like, the, putting your head uh, underwater and then shaking it off and stuff like that constantly. Like, yeah. dipping it down the back. <laughs> 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 uh, panic. Straight for a good time seeing the other masseuses just <laughs> turns down to you. Do you require sustenance? Yes. <laughs> I would like cranberry flavored sparkling water with an orange peel in it. Okie dokie. And they turn around and just <laughs> leave. And they come back and they bring you back exactly what you asked for. Yes. Fuck yes. Could, could, could I have that as well, but like in a giant thing? Just like what you poured that into. Thank I can you. go and get that for you. And then uh, your elf crystal, she gets up and she leaves and she comes back with it in a in an ale, like a like a um, stern with like a little umbrella oh, in cheers. it. She hands it to cheers, you. Cheers, Patty. Mm -hmm. Jeez. We do ask. We do ask that you are uh, uh, careful with the glass near okay. the tubs. Okay, we'll be careful. Okay, you guys sit for an hour in this this relaxing tub, and the, the aromas are just amazing. You have your drinks, you you chat here and there, and your masseuses tend to you, and then eventually the bubbles stop, and the masseuses get you out of the baths, and then they lead you to basically another room with a bunch of really nice poofy comfortable looking chairs with cushions that you just sink in like a marshmallow all you see is tasks tip of his ears and his snout sticking out <laughs> <laughs> uh, they all settle you down and then they begin they they take the chairs and they lean you back and they begin to work on your face they're doing oh. a facial for you oh it oh, feels really nice thank you uh, oh I'm Panic is just saying, you know, Panic is just saying, yes, 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 over and over again. I'm just imagining <laughs> the one just slapping him back and forth over and over again. <laughs> no, yes. they're actually, straightforward good time is doing a really good job. They're extremely gentle. The only, the only quandary is that their hands are a little bit cold, uh, consider they're made out of soulless steel. Um, but they're doing a really, really good job. They they rub the cheeks. They're they're working around the nose, the mouth, like all over the forehead. It's kind of like a salt based wash, and it takes a while. And you can't really talk during this process. But eventually, you come out and your face just feels so super refreshed. And they lay you down and they put um, basically a face mask on as a finisher. And they put the cucumber on each I, of your ears. Yeah, I they put it on our ears. 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 I want the ears too. I paid for double. <laughs> they, they put it on your eyes. I'm so sorry. Panic, Is this the deluxe edition? <laughs> oh my god. Panic just has cucumbers literally just all over orifices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, straight for a good time just keeps putting them down. Like they go here and here. Oh, there's another hole. There we go. And there's another one. <laughs> Whoa, hey now. Oh, it's just happy. <laughs> guys, can I? Hey guys, you know? Yes. What? I want you to I know, so. Dad. You guys are my friends, and I love you. But this is more important to me right now than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As you guys get your face washed off, you're led into the masseuse chamber. And you guys are laid out on the masseuse tables. And Borky and Panic... Uh, you are very well treated. Uh, Borky, your masseuse in particular, is very, very good. Just working the back shoulder muscles as well as the lower back. All the tightness in the arms, your your axe swinging arms, completely loose. Imagine she's just out. taking her elbows and just, uh, like, panic. just, just... 
Yeah, she's really putting, like, she's sweating. She's really putting the effort in. Her, her arm, like, it, her arm transforms into, like, one of the things, like, Mega Man style, and it, like, just <laughs> pulls down on his fucking, she's using her elbow, and it's, like, pile driving into his shoulder. Just, it puts Sparky in an arm bar. Oh, this, this feels amazing. <laughs> Straight... like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Shit, um... I want to do that. God damn you. Panic, straightforward, good time is, is doing a very good job, but it's very mechanized. But it's getting the work done. It's like it goes up to the shoulders, just, ear, 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 ear. like it's like like a process. Um, and at one point, like her hands do the, the chopping thing, except for it's at turbo speed. It's just like <laughs> like like a like a like a jackhammer, but a very gentle masseuse jackhammer. Um, Greckles, you don't get a massage. You oh. actually have your masseuse, Princess, goes in and she helps uh, preen all your new feathers that are growing in. Oh. Oh. She cleans off the casings, and it is the most relaxing feeling. Those things are itchy, and you, you're growing in a lot of feathers right now, considering that you've ripped out a bunch of them. Yep. Um, yep. And, and even, like, the chest with the flower nipple area, she's cleaning oh. those up, too. Oh, all so, the... All the... <laughs> Sorry, don't mean to alarm you, but something's growing <laughs> <laughs> all, all, of, all of the plumage is just puffing. She's I'm, doing I'm, a very I'm, good job. It's like you, you see, you see a magical cockatiel just like crest come up over its head. <laughs> it's super relaxing. Uh, and then task for you, the masseuse comes over and begins to actually like work a small soft brush between your scales. Very gently cleaning out the dirt and just like almost like a dentist, like coming through and getting rid of like even she even finds like at certain points she she picks rocks from between the scales. You just feel how much more comfortable it is. Nice. When she gets to the arm, like Task's fucked up arm, he like flinches a bit, but then like kind of like apologizes for flinching because that's a very very tender spot if it wasn't visible. She actually notices this and she actually puts a like a kind of like a moisturizer on your on your scar just to keep it also feeling pretty good while she does her work around and she eventually nice. waxes the scales and everything. Uh, Greckles, after the feathers, you get your nails done as well, like just trimmed and and shined and cleaned. The dirt is all removed. Mm. Same with you, Borky, and and Panic as well. <clears throat> and. <laughs> As you guys are being masseuse, straight for a good time goes, as part of our spa treatment, we must also advertise the other services that we offer here, if I you're am. interested. Mm. Please continue. We have uh, couples rooms on the second floor for you and a special friend of any size. We have rooms that it can accommodate uh, that, 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 air, 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 air. And then uh, Princess walks over, just kind of smacks uh, straight for a good time. Whoops, sorry there. Um, we have rooms that can accommodate gnomes to goliaths, so if you have a special someone, it is the right place to go. We also offer some more services on the third floor. Go on. Go on. <laughs> go on. We provide escort services for more relaxation. If you are interested, you can go to the third floor and inquire. How about we it, also boys? Off we also offer... Um, what are they called again? And then Princess goes, uh, we have uh, gift Ooh. packages as well. If you would like to share the romantic with a friend or loved one. Hmm. <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean by share? Well, it is like uh, you say you have a friend who is stressed. Um, then you can buy a ticket here and they can come to the romantic and enjoy. Hmm, interesting. That is why you are here, no? Well, I suppose these were actually gifted to us. It seems that they would be gifted to you, and she lifts up Panic's ticket that has the kiss mark on it, a little <laughs> bit smudged from the water. <laughs> Mr. Hammer now is a common uh, peruser of the romantic. The elf chimes in. <clears throat> And what's he like? Uh, well, I'd never see him because all the dwarven women steal him. So, you know. Mm. I am told he is very handsome and has a beautiful beard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we could do, we could, we could, 
Well, here is your scented candle, and I give you all like a nice little care package. Nice. I'm kind of interested in that third floor, uh, boys. How about you? Uh, yes. Borky blushing, pushing his fingers together. Oh, yeah, you know. You don't have to if you uh, don't yeah, want to, Borky. I don't know. I have no one. I have I have no one to share it with, so it's not like I have to go there. So no, I'll pass. Hey, we could get. But you said there was a package we could buy, right? For like a friend. How much? Uh, not for the third floor. Only the first and second. I'm afraid. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I did not it's specify. Okay. <laughs> buy them a package. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Borky, Greckles puts an arm around around your muscly back. Think of it as a I brand new adventure. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! Wow. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> I don't even know what Borky wants to do in this situation. <laughs> Are you still like a place where I could have a drink here? Yes, the first floor or the second floor has I a lovely bar. I will go there. Grippos will go in there. Tash, do you want to come with me? Okay. Sure, I'll get a drink. I'm not going up to the right, second floor or the two. third floor. Oh, well, the, 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 the bar is on the second floor. Yeah. Oh, the bar is on the second floor? We will, okay, we will yeah, be going yeah, to the, the second, second floor. floor. Uh, panic. Oh, uh, Grackus. Have fun. <laughs> Porky turns. All right. You guys head out feeling completely clean. You guys smell good so smell? good. Did Borky get the good smell? Uh, oh. <laughs> it's super good. Yeah. Like you feel so refreshed and like all that tension is just gone. You're making me want this for real. <laughs> I know. I, I'm not even joking. I went to a spa and I got a pamphlet. <laughs> <laughs> for this. So, you know, thank you. Uh, Beauty and the Bliss for your excellent spa treatment. No, at- for real, Zeta, you, 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 me, and the ladies definitely have to go to that spa, that really nice one that we have in town. That, that everyone keeps talking about and we never fucking go. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. Um, all right, so Greckles and Panic, you guys are going up to the third floor? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Ophelia actually catches you on your way out. Oh, did you have a wonderful time? Yes. Absolutely stellar. You smell excellent. Are you perhaps interested in some of our other services? I noticed your friends said they were going to get a drink on the second floor. I, 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 uh, panic. Yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no hesitation. I'm so excited. <laughs> Actually, if you would like, some of your, uh, your masseuses uh, are also available for the third floor as well. Uh, they are trained in multiple areas of the romance. But um, come, let me show you what we have. And Panic squints and, and looks back over at, I, I can't remember. the Straight, Straightforward good time. And looks, looks over at straightforward good time and does, does the thinking pose. Uh, straightforward good time lifts up their hand and just <laughs> waves. Like, hello. Like, <laughs> like super friendly. Straightforward good time sounds like oh, a stand fuck. name and I can't get past it. And I'm just so happy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> And this is the power of my stand. Today to flow out the good time. <laughs> Hello. Hi there. Um, all right. So you guys head up through the second floor. Borky uh, task. You find what looks like basically a jazz lounge. It's like leather Ooh, nice. couches, like suits and tie, except for it's fantasy. So it's just uh, doublets and then really nice our, attire. Uh, you guys... I, no, you guys got your stuff back at this point. Oh, okay, sweet. Yeah, at this point, you guys have redressed and you have your things. Um, and you're oh, served okay, okay. ale, can we, can whatever, we, what have you. Can you see where, where, if there's, where, where places we can sit at are? I'd like to roll a perception Sorry? check to see where there's a good seat in the corner to sit at. Excellent. Yeah, for sure. 21. Scout out a good seat. 21. Ooh. There is a really nice round table with four kind of couch like chairs, cushioned couch chairs. And that's like, that's the primal spot. There's also a stage. Uh, there's currently a drow singing some cabaret on stage. Very oh, beautiful, nice. oh, melodic there. music. So, they, they walk over to that. Does this work for you, Panic? Mm-hmm. I mean, task, sorry. Does this work for you, Task? 
Yes, it does work ah, on me, boy. It's just a tiny little tangent <laughs> to me. <laughs> and then when he goes back up to the third floor, hey, Patrick, you want to do this? Yes! Yes. <laughs> a really tall, Bork, a really Borky, tall Bork, task. Bork. <laughs> really lanky. Long task is long. Um, and Borky sits down and, put, yes, and puts uh, Gripples in a, in a little chair. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. Uh, there's a few other patrons. It's actually very quiet given your time of day. There's not a lot of people drinking at this hour. Uh, there's a few patrons. There's some some orcs, like half orcs talking. There's a couple of soldiers like swooning, looking at the the singer on stage. Uh, can Borky roll a perception check to see oh. what she looks? Does Borky notice how? Should... Yeah, yeah. I yeah, kind of yeah, wanted yeah, to roll yeah, that yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. The drow? Yeah. Perception check. Yeah, go ahead. That's kind of interesting. Four, four, Eleven, oh, unfortunately. She's a very beautiful singer. She's wearing a really, really nice, like, deep blue dress. She's got long white hair. Her eyes are completely white. Her ears are very long. Um, and she's just completely just like, oh, da, 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 like, completely going yeah, for bo- it. Bo- bo- um, she kind of looks a little bit like, like, a, like a girl panic. <laughs> Food for thought. <clears throat> Food for... Tess, Tess takes a swig of his drink. Meanwhile, um, Greckles and Panic, you are being led by Ophelia. She leads you up to the second floor, and you see couples kind of leaving rooms, actually. Like, um, different couples are leaving. It looks like they've just woken up, uh, and they're exiting the romantion. Uh, you see very few going in. Uh, the floor is actually pretty scarce. You go up to the third floor, and it, it's kind of like a hotel lobby in a way. Mm. And... The Ophelia walks up to this large woman, this very big, powerful woman, and she's got hair that's like almost double the height of her head, um, and these giant hoop earrings and lipstick that's just like, oh, it's perfect. And her contour is on uh, what's the phrase kids use on it's flit on fleek. Oh, on thank fleek. you. It's on fleek. Whole, thank you. Um, and she turns. <laughs> I am hip <laughs> with the kids. I am hip with the youth. How do you do, um, fellow players? <laughs> Um, and Ophelia walks up and she she talks and she turns and points to you and nods. And the lady comes out from behind the desk and goes, Hello, darlings! Well, hello. Excellent. I hear you're interested in our third floor services. Yes. <laughs> now, <Yep. laughs> now, I know that you've signed a contract for our spa, but for the third floor, we also need you to sign a contract. And she pulls out two contracts and places them on the the table. What do these glorious contracts say? It's pretty standard. Uh, don't hurt the employees. Um, yeah. And also, if they want to be done at any point, they're allowed to leave. Um, and a few other like obvious rules, like don't break things, don't steal things. And unlike the one with the spa, that you are in charge of your own belongings. Um, since this is kind of like a hotel setup. Do we have all of our stuff? Yep, you do. Okay, I didn't know if we were still... Nope, you got it all back. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So what are we looking for, more or less? I was actually a little bit more interested in princess. Princes, excellent. (laughs) Do you like them tall, short, with scales, with horns? Whoa, whoa. Uh well, I was actually trying to be a little bit more specific. Um, Princess, the wonderful young escort that uh, took good care of me on the second floor. Oh, Princess! Oh, excellent! Yes, I will page for her right away! And you watch as she goes over and she puts a finger on a gemstone. It begins to glow, like, behind the desk, like, almost like a bell. She will be up for you immediately. What about this young sir? Straight Surprise. for the Straightforward good time. Straightforward good time. Oh, 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 oh. dealer's oh. choice. Yikes. Roll one should... D one hundred, Nadine. I have an entire <laughs> list here. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now the question is, you wish to be surprised? No, no, too late. Wait. Now, the question is, yes. What what race is what race is this fine lady? Uh, she's human. I say wait. This is going to sound really bad, but it's not. It's just my preference. <laughs> no dwarves. 
That is completely understandable. Should I remove halflings and gnomes as well? <laughs> no, just dwarves. No, no. Okay. <laughs> um, are you interested more in ladies or gentlemen? Surprise me. Excellent. <laughs> All right. And how right. how many would you Ooh, like? How many? This is, this, do we this do we have a price the, point the, yet? The, by how the much, way, how much? How much? How much per? It's a hundred gold pieces per ex, uh, escort. Three. Three. Three it is. That's cheap. <laughs> I get it. That is cheap. I'm That's not I'm bad. The entrance fee was the most of it. You know what? You know what? Greg, actually, if you don't mind, and he slams down 400 gold pieces, surprise me too. Okay. Pref preferably oh. females, but uh, doors are definitely okay in my book. Oh, I'll make a note of that. Panic puts uh, down so, another so hundred gold. Go take a, oh, wait, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Panic puts down another hundred gold. I will oh. not be outdone. <laughs> oh god! You're, wait, you're so on, how many? You're on how three. many? How many you're escorts on. now for both of you? Four, so for, four each. Four oh, each. You're, you're on, pretty boy. Drex puts oh down my another god. hundred gold. Okay, okay. Oh my god! Panic puts down another hundred as well. Our limit is four. Oh. oh. We do have we, other patrons even at it, this time of day. It, I just Fate imagine cutting back one. to Borking Tax. So how's your day? Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, I want everybody. This is gonna take me a while. Everybody, bio break real fast, break. and we'll do some. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna get it. Just like, just like so, Task. You smell you nice. Some, <laughs> yeah, you too. Some good smell of more. One second. Okay. Right, let me. I'm just. You can't hear it, but I'm just rubbing my grubby little hands together right now. <laughs> I knew you would love this, but no. This is, uh, this is, this is wild. I'll be right wow. back. Let me rush, rush, rush back. Yeah, guys, we're gonna do some, uh, bit shoutouts oh. here. Uh, first of all, thank you again to Probate, uh, for his kind, generous donation right at the beginning there of, uh, of a hundred thousand bits. So, like, huh. Uh, thank you so much for that, man. I want to like thank the Red Storm Crow, 1,500 bits. We all know that Panic doesn't need the romance to get laid. Am I right, guys? Uh, Cateration, uh, 1,500 bits. I could, I, I wish I could stay for the rest of the night, but I didn't get any sleep last night, and I have to be up early for Star Wars. So good night. And I can't wait to see the glorious fan art that's come from Sue from this hilarity. Sario88, 2,000 bits. This is completely worth the cash right now. <laughs> Uh, there are many uh, sub, uh, subs as well here. I will try to get through them the best I can, uh, just because there's a lot of you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, the Thor three thousand, Thor Thor three hundred and thirteen. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, uh, Kateration, thank you for gifting a sub to Dicks on a on a, san, uh, on a Sadma. Uh, man Killer, thank you for the Man Killer. Thank you so much for the uh, for the Twitch Prime sub. Kateration uh, was g gave away three subs actually. Peachy Sakura, Vagabond Twitch, and Smooth Enigma. Thank you so much, Kateration. Uh, Necro Jake, thank you for the four month resub. K two K O two regeneration. Thank you so much for the six month resub. Thunder King, thank you for the two month resub. Uh, PM Ghost, oh, g gifted a sub to Bosco. Hey Bosco, what's going on? Gaijin Goomba is ra Gaijin Goomba is raiding oh, me. Nice. Oh, never mind. Now now everything out of, out of sync. So. <laughs> I know. I was saying, that's old news, buddy. This event list is not up to date. I really wish it was because I feel like I'm missing a bunch of bits. Oh, thank you, Rookalek, as well. Uh, yeah, it's. Yeah, then it just. It, 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 I... <laughs> grab some, uh, grab some that's pomegranates all it actually as has a little right snack. Oh, Joker118 Jr., thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, yeah, it's just I'm not. It's. Ugh. I'm just like, I'm trying to. My goodness me, you guys. God. Can we, can we, can all we, right, can we call this episode the, the freaking like, what was it? The hot springs episode, just the hot springs episode. <laughs> the party goes to a brothel. Her name is Rio and she dances. But, ta ta is everybody back now or are we good man. to go? He's a five star man. I, by the way, I'm going to cut to black because I don't want okay. to, you know. Okay. <laughs> Um, is, is, do we have Panic back? He, oh. He's not back I guess yet. Not. Oh. He's been, I'm still working! <laughs> I am not finished yet. <laughs> I just, I just rolled for your escorts <laughs> and I'm very excited. Wow. Awesome. I picked Chaos. some of them because I think we, you so guys would be surprised. My dad walked in at some point and he was like, <laughs> You're winning, son? Yes, dad, I am. <laughs> and I said, 
And I said, Chaos yes. Priest I ate in. 3,000 bits just for one, the one Opsman ship. Who knew Grex could be so competitive for Snoo Snoo? <laughs> uh, for those bit. I I'm received assuming, uh, um, the bit Mm, sorry. No, Money, for, for the bit donations I did miss, I'm sorry that I didn't keep it up to date uh, for, uh, for me on this listing, guys. If you subbed or you if you subbed or donated, thank you so much, so kindly for your su support. And uh, let's get back to the 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 the, the funnies. Oh, one quick second, I'm just gonna close off these pomegranates so there's no noise. <laughs> yeah, I had, I had a there we go. Of mushrooms. All right. Um, you watch as um, the the lady of the house uh, goes through, and she begins to leaf through different um, papers and hits various uh, ionic magical stones at her at her desk. And she looks up and she goes, "I think you are perfectly established now. Uh, your escorts will be awaiting in your rooms." And she turns over and she grabs keys. Uh, and Panna, you get room 23. And Greckles, you get room 14. Ooh, already? I assume you only wanted the standard rooms. Oh, I didn't know we had options. Oh, there's deluxe. And then there's Ooh. ultimate deluxe. <laughs> Ultra oh, instinct. And how much, how much will those run us? The standard room uh, was basically included in your 100 fee. Uh, for the additional rooms, your deluxe will be 500 gold pieces, and the ultra deluxe will be 1,000 gold pieces. That includes entertainment and food, as well as other accommodations. Oh, panic. Choices. Mm. Indeed. What are you feeling? Hmm. 500 is a lot of money. Just puts down like a stack of thousands. <laughs> I want the whole place. <laughs> <laughs> I, am now the, I am now the majority stockholder of the Romansion. Um, you know what? I got a whole... I, I, got a, I got a lot of money burn a hole in my pocket. Puts down Whoa. two grand for the ultimate. Okay, for both of you? Sure. I'm buying. Wow. <laughs> Burn through your... <laughs> Panic. Panic gets on his knees and just pulls Greg <laughs> and do a hunt. <laughs> That's, this, is... This, is, this is what friends are for. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I have officially cut, spent cut, almost all my money. Cut, cut to downstairs oh real fast. Hey, Tash, you want another beer on me? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. Hey, you want more food? <laughs> Yeah, dude, come on, let's get like a whole yeah, shitload. Yeah, like, yeah, get some yeah, weights yeah, for the yeah, table, no, no, come no, no, on, no. get over here. Uh, ball kite, uh, waiter, waiter, can you summon the waiter? Yeah, the waiter comes uh, over. I, 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 we, we, would, we would like approximately 100 chickens worth of wings, thank you. Yo, I'm okay with this. That would be 200. Yeah, whoa, down, oh, down, oh, down, oh, down, 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 down. Grip. He comes back like a giant bucket of wings. Like a literal bucket. <laughs> Being yeah, like an actual being bucket. Slobs eating it. Fuck oh, yeah. This was good. <laughs> <laughs> Guys just got cleaned. Um, so uh, she takes back the the keys to the rooms, and she gives you these really fancy, like giant, like goofy keys. And she goes, "If you go down the main hallway here, and she points to you, and you see like giant double doors, your room will be the double doors there, and your room." And she points to the opposite hallway. There's another set of double doors. Will be your room right there. <sighs> Sounds like a good time. Panic, you, panic, you are you ready for that uh, good time that we've I, so earned? I am ready to blow off some steam. Okay. Choo choo. Chugga chugga. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> are the room are the room numbers sixty nine and thirty four? No. <laughs> now they are. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Um, all right, who's going into their room first? I'll go into my. Well, actually, no. You know what, Panic? You 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 take your room first, buddy. You you of all of us wanted this the most. So the the girls are all the 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 escorts are already in the room, right? Yeah, they're sent to the room. Before I go in, I'm going to cast Prestidigitation on myself to make myself just 
glow and sparkle and all that shit. Okay. You look bedazzling. <laughs> Don't Do let anyone ever dull your sparkle. Yes. All right. And I walk in. <laughs> all right. You grab those double doors. You push them open. Um, you're immediately met with a beautiful room with a bearskin rug on the ground. There's a giant, like, round, like, heart-shaped bed. Uh, there's a giant fireplace to the side. There's candles everywhere. Um, there's food and wine. It's, like, ultimatum. This is called the Supreme Ultimate, like, package for a reason. And you see your escorts. Um, the first one, which actually... Cat hmm? I heard the smile in your voice as you said that. <laughs> Sorry. The first one really catches your eye. It's a tiefling. Uh, it is a male tiefling, shirtless, Ooh. wearing leather pants. Um, and he's got, like, a lovely, like, lion mane of hair, almost similar to yours, only it's uh, it's black. And worse. Don't look uh -huh. okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> And he's got very long horns, and he is currently sitting on a cushion on the ground, just reclining and what enjoying some he? of the wine already. He's red. He's like a he's like a like a very average red. He's like this slightly Whoa. darker than Task would be. <laughs> and he gives you like the eyebrow, like, "Hey, how's it going?" Uh, <laughs> you also see sitting are two elven twins female twins wearing white and black dresses respectfully and they look completely identical and then you see a giant hulking male goliath standing in the corner who is also shirtless um and he's just waiting and he gives you like a head chin like a like a hey how's it going um and he turns around and grabs a fruit platter and then doors close behind you and we're ending it there Greckles. <laughs> wait i want to do one thing before the doors okay. close okay. he's gonna panic's gonna lean back with his eyes close and he's gonna write a letter in his head it's gonna say dear father i know you never believed in me <laughs> but look where i am now okay. that's it I love this <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's panic. That's your. You have a very lovely yep. evening. Um, Greckles, mm -hmm. you walk into your room. Uh, you see Princess. Mm -hmm. She's wearing lovelier attire. She's out of her work clothes. Uh, you also see a dwarf. I'm going to give you guys the names of your escorts too, because they're brilliant. Um, <laughs> actually, I'm going to do Panics first before I get too distracted. Uh, panic, your tiefling escort. His name is Bane. Hey! That's his name. <laughs> The oh, elven twins are. <laughs> oh my god! The elven twins are Sarithia and Dorithia, and the Goliath's name is Zeus. <laughs> oh, yeah, I, just, I can't, I, I can't, I can't unimagine the idea that it's just Dave Batista. You know, I just, it's just. <laughs> <laughs> He's bigger than than Doros too. He's huge. <laughs> um, and then Greckles, you walk in, you see Princess. Mm -hmm. Uh, you also see a lovely dwarven woman, like, really gorgeous. Uh, her name is Moondust. Oh. And you see a man with a black ponytail tied back. His name is Saruhiko. He's obviously from the Eastern Isles as well. He's very handsome. Um, and you also get a blue-tongued skink lizard folk man named Maddox. <laughs> and as you walk in, he flicks his tongue, and they also provide you with fruits and wine and cushions and everything to your heart's desire. Was that four? He was supposed to get four. Yeah, they all got four. Yeah, it was all four. Oh, yeah. I didn't catch the last one. I apologize. I must have lagged out. It's all good. He got a lizard he got folk. got a kinky skin. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, boy. All right. You guys have a lovely time. Morky and Tess, you guys are at the 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 like yep. restaurant for a while. Uh, well, yeah, they've been, they've been, they've, we've been sitting here for a couple of hours, like, huh. Like, it's, you guys got there at about, like, two o'clock. It's, like, almost eight o'clock now. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, can we get the name of this, the drow singer? Uh, you want the name of the drow singer? Uh, yeah, you want like, the name of the, the drow Borky, singer? Like, Borky have yep. asked the, uh, like, Borky, Borky grabs the waiter. Uh, wait, real fast. What's the name of the singer? Oh, her name is Starlight. Starlight. 
Mm. Thank you. Let's him go. Bucky's being. What, what are you thinking? What? Oh, you know. What do you What are you thinking? You asked for her name. Know what her name is because she's uh, she's a really good singer. And maybe you know. Oh, who knows? She might. You wanted to get it. Do you do you? Just Tash just looks over to over to her and then back to him and just and just like smirks a bit. Why do you want to claim her? <laughs> what the? <laughs> what? I, I mean, like, I get what? I mean, that's. I mean, this is the place for it. That's that's what the tiefling kind of made it out to be. Just wanted to know her name, man. No, no, it's just. No, that's fair. Pretty name. I, another thing I would have probably pondered is if you wanted to get her for the uh, oh, sweet ta uh, sweet yeah. dragon. Maybe, yeah. Do you think she'd like to perform at the sweet dragon? <laughs> well, I feel like that's something we'd have to ask the higher ups if we can use her talents there. At this point, she's finished singing and she bows. Uh, uh, Borky uh, walks up to her. Uh, you as well as five oh, other men walk geez. up to her. Okay, oh, well, uh, is Borky taller than all of them? Yeah, actually, oh, you're taller than first, everyone. Guys, sorry, just push one of the. Just, no, no, sorry. Hey. Yeah, I just got a thing. Excuse me. Excuse me. Right. Uh, hello there, uh, Starlight. Hello. Uh, uh, name's Borky the Orky. That is a lovely stage name. Sure, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, you sing very, very, very good. Borky just pushes like the fifth guy. Just, that's like while well, maintaining, just like with his left hand, is just like with, like just pushing guys back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, um, do you only perform here? I perform at the do opera you, house as well. When do you? When do you, what, what is, wow. what is the show there? What is the opera you take part in? Uh, and she looks over and she, listen, uh, one moment. And she walks over to the edge of the stage. She comes back with a pamphlet and it's like a show parchment. And uh, it is called The Phantom and the Soldier is mm. the name of the opera. I... Thank, thank you for this. I'd like to come see you perform again. Okay. And then another human just shoves the other way. He's like, my darling! Oh. And she like starts throwing like roses at her and says, oh, thank you, thank you. Goodbye. And she leaves the stage. Borky goes back to sit down. And... What you got she, there? She takes, she does opera. I don't. Uh, and, um, yeah, so she does an uh, opera thing. So, uh, could you read this, please? Because <laughs> pushes it towards that. Ta Task will take it and read it to him. Uh, it, it appears to be the story of a, of a soldier finding the phantom of their dead comrade, and it's dramatic, and it's a Greek tragedy-level thing, it looks like. Decent enough advertisement, though, but uh, you don't see her name on it. Uh, what are the female roles on? Uh, is there any female roles or talent listed on this pamphlet? There is. Let me grab the names here. Oh, oh shoot! I almost dropped something. Uh, you see. Uh, Rosario. Hold on, let me uh, start typing oh, this stuff down. I apologize. Yeah, Rosario. The name of the guy. Right. Uh, Rosario. Is no, this is the this, this is, is a the I asked for you bringing all female no, I didn't roles. Mean to throw you this curveball. There no, is three female names. There's Rosario. There's Catalina. And oh, sorry. Is that it? Is it just those two names? I think it's just those two names. Oh, Camilla, so Camilla. Sorry, there it is. So it's Cam 
Rosario, Kalitha, and uh, Camilla. Kalitha? Kalitha. Catalina. Okay, let me yeah. see. I'll re-rear it. Okay, Camilla, Cat, Catalina. What was the last one? Okay, Cat Rosario. Rosario. Task will relay these three names. Well, apparently there are three females that are on this list, and I'm going to assume that this establishment uses pen names for their oh. employees. Nice. However, yeah. However, I actually would be interested in going hmm. to this as well. Well, when we get a chance, one is where is it? What's well, the next showing. Yep. Uh, the next showing appears to be in in three days. In three more days, uh, what district? Entertainment district in the Opera House. Well, that's good. At least we can actually pay our way into here if we don't have the uh, yeah, tickets or whatnot. Cool. All right. Uh, yeah, cool. Thank you. Forky takes it back and put, kind of puts it into it. And just kind of... This is also a very good way we can create some new contacts. I'm very certain that something of this caliber of entertainment can lead to a lot of uh, famous faces to appear here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People like people like Starlight and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little beyond that, Borky. We're trying to think bigger picture. Maybe even get the sweet dragon a little bit of notoriety. This might, be a good place to start this might be a good place to start saying that. And if we go in with our better accoutrements, that might help us out in that cause. Cool. All right, I agree. Maybe we should get more business. And once we get the giant egg business going, hear me out on this, seriously though. We have giant eggs. We just make so much scrambled eggs for cheap. And then we just get, and then we get all the people who were <laughs> drunk the night before coming in for the morning shift. Borky, you know, we actually could do this, but we would just need one thing, What's which that? we sorely lack, oh. is a druid. Someone who actually knows how to oh, handle shit. animals. We should have gotten it. Something we're gonna have to look forward to in the future. Oh well. I guess Helga could take care of the birds. Or oh, wait, no. That's true. She'd probably eat I... them. We'll figure that out later. At this point, uh panic and Greckles, your <laughs> sessions have ended. Uh You've had a very good time. I want both of you to make charisma what? saving throws. Oh, oh, oh. Ha ha. <clears throat> charisma, the one thing I'm not good at. With advantage like for the it. charisma for both of you. Uh, both yeah. save. Okay. Uh, charisma. Yeah. Oh, save or check? Charisma saving throws. Okay. A saving throw. Yeah. With the uh, uh, 19. 19, nice. you're very charming. Uh, then I need, let's see, who are your escorts again? I had Are you going to make us roll constitution saving throws now? Uh, for you, Panic. Yep, you <laughs> oh have to roll constitution God. saving throw. <laughs> 16. Okay. It was fine. A little scary a couple times, but you're Zeus good. Zeus is a righteous god. Um, I believe it added to the whole experience. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys emerge, then you're good. Are, are you on this? Are you on the second floor now? Yeah, you guys. Well, at this point, you're on the third floor. If there's anything else you want to do, panic. Mm hmm. High five. Panic just slaps his hand. <laughs> just <laughs> fuck yeah. We do. We do. We, we do the. We do the grab hand arm pump. Yeah. Ophelia. <laughs> I want to live here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, would you be interested in purchasing another ticket to the district? <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, for personal use, that will be a thousand gold pieces. Take it. Just he th throws the gold. <laughs> and she goes over behind the desk and she grabs you a one-time use ticket for the return to the mansion. You two look amazing. Look. <laughs> there, I finished the sentence for you. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that's a good way to describe it. Hey, is that a stage? Yeah, there was just a drow opera singer there. We have a pamphlet for the show that she might uh, be showing I'm up I'm thinking in. about going to mm. it because I am um, like, uh, for culture. Yeah. <laughs> Borky nodding. Immediate insight check. Seven, all right, yeah, 17. Roll a deception oh, check, Borky. So 
<laughs> Dang it. 13. Ah, uh, it's not a huge deficit. What's Borky's... Actually, type me what Borky's real intention is. Oh, this will be... Okay, On Discord. Will, will be a laugh. There you go, How's sent. everyone doing? <laughs> oh, wow, that was quick. I just had sex. <laughs> and I feel okay. so good. Greckles, it's not the show. It's probably the drow, but you don't know why. Mm. Wait, say that again? Sorry. He's interested in the show, but you think it's more for the drow, but you don't know why. Okay. That's not clear. Okay. Even if it, even if what Borky said seems a little strange, I think it might be a good place for us to get to know a lot more, w more powerful faces in the town. Not a terrible idea. That is true. Uh, give me a moment. <laughs> and uh, is is there like an authoritative figure? Oh yeah. Looking? On either side of the stage, there is a female Goliath, and there is a uh, what appears to be a half orc in a very nice dress, arms crossed, just keeping a scout out. Uh, Panic walk, walks up to walks up to one of the, the, the female Goliath and is just like, hey, excuse me, um, I, I see that this, this stage is, uh, is the stage vacant right now? At the moment, it looks like they're cleaning it and they're getting, they're setting up like backdrops and stuff. Uh, I see this stage is uh, vacant right now. I was I was just wondering if I could go up there and just perform one song, just a single song. Is is that would that be all right? I mean, I brought my guitar and everything, and just you know, just... <laughs> she starts to laugh. Uh, it's very funny there, sir. If you want to perform on this stage, you have to contact the Romanchin's owner, Rufus <laughs> Crumblebum. Of course, I'm running that's that name on my name. sheet right now. Rufus Crumblebum, Mr. Bumble. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write that down actually as well. Rufus Crumblebum. That name makes me hungry. It's just. <laughs> oh boy. Panic is, is going is going to insist. He's he's like, get my idol. It'll just be a quick song, nothing fancy. And just want to see how my guitar performs on a stage. And just, you feel you feel it, and plus the, the crowd's going to love it. It's like an intermission area. I mean, there's no music going on right now. I mean, you feel you look, not your there's, side. There's Come like on. two guys drinking at the bar and only you guys and like the the servant servers. And Panic. she looks to the stage and looks back to you. Greckles, you wanted to say something? Yeah. You 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 feel Gre you feel Greckles poking at poking at your side with his elbow. Why don't you just give them a demonstration? I mean, you don't mind if I play off the stage, do you? If the music if the music's in your heart, you just gotta do it. <sighs> That's not for me to decide, but if you want to play for me, then sure. Okay. <clears throat> uh and I, I'm assuming Panic has all of his belongings as well. Not for the, not for this. You don't get the benefit of the lion head. Damn. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So Panic pulls out his guitar. And he's going to play. Make the magic. Okay. Thirteen. She taps her foot a bit. And that's about where the enjoyment ends. Yeah. If you want to perform on the stage, contact the owner of the Romansion. Where's the... Where do we find him? No, you don't find him. You have to submit a letter to the Romansion. We have a submission box, uh, actually at the entrance of the uh, the lounge. Yeah, well, I will do just that then. Sorry. That's uh, you're just doing your job. Yeah, I did like it though. Not bad. Not bad. He's a little bit tired, you see. You see, um, he... he... <laughs> I am a little exhausted, yes. A little tuckered. <laughs> so you guys leave the romance now, or...? Yeah, I yes, think we're yeah. done uh, here. What okay. is that? But I want to buy I want to buy some beauty products for the home, though. Okay, yeah, for sure. What do you want to buy? Uh, I want to buy some horn polish. Yep. Horn polish, uh, 
some ex some exfoliates and some very uh, very masculine cologne. Okay, uh, so face wash, horn polish, and cologne. Mm -hmm. uh, total of that comes to that comes to us. Oh, really, not that expensive. Comes to fourteen gold pieces. Hmm. Is there a way I could get like some of the minerals that was used for uh, the mud bath? Yeah, they have like a jar of it. They have like a small jar and they have a big jar. What's the big jar's price looking like? Uh, the big jar is 55 gold pieces, and the small jar is uh, 18 gold pieces. Oh, dude, big jar all the way. All right, you get a big jar of it. <laughs> this is a this, weird this episode is a fun of episode. D &D. Yeah. <laughs> and we need, me, no, like, no. Like, for, for real, we needed this episode after the last couple of arcs. That's fair. All right. Uh, so you guys head home through the night. Well, well I kind of also, I wanted to, I guess since it's too late now, I did kind of want to go find the Northlanders. Oh, did you? It is about yeah. 8 o'clock at this point. I, I want to make a trip to the Northlanders. I at least want to know what's up with the place. Okay. Uh, the Northlanders isn't a place. It's people. Um, they're a type of people. Oh, it's a race of people. Okay. Yeah, it's a race. Yeah. It's oh, not, I, I, not I thought it was an establishment. Okay. No, 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 no. Um, in fact, you search and search and search, and then you realize, oh shoot, right. Shit. Oh well, head back home. Okay, you guys head back home. The sweet dragon has a few people in it. Um, you see Halla. You see Salvador. Uh. Euro Magister is there, Mr. Cuddles. Wait, wait, Mr. Cuddles, the guy from the, the, the gladiator that Borky paid? Yeah, the Tabaxi Panther Man oh who you God. paid to fight. Shit, Mr. Cuddles. You son <laughs> of a bitch! She goes that thing, but it gets no sold, I'm assuming. No, no, don't touch no, me. Don't good. touch it's me! Good, it's me. Good, it's <laughs> smell me, no, smell me. Me. I smell You're great. Okay. He does actually smell you. Actually, you actually don't okay, smell that bad. I okay. still don't want to be touched, hey, though. Hey, hey, make sure he pays. And Borky walks away. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like, what the f what? <laughs> okay, so so really quick, on our way back, Greckles would be kind of, feel, we would be feeling very chummy with panic at this point. Oh, yeah. Is, the, is, is there like, is there like an, an arm in arm giddy after glow skip to our step panic? <laughs> no, both Absolutely. you guys walk, walking like you rode horses all day, actually. <laughs> wobbling, wobbling back and forth. Hey, bow, 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 get bow legged. <laughs> bow legged. I had uh, snoo snoo. Yeah, we did. Hey, hey, panic. I had snoo snoo. Yeah, we did. <laughs> hey, panic. Shut up, let me have my bit. <laughs> I told you I don't forget. I, I told you I wouldn't forget your act of kindness. Oh, well, yeah, you you didn't have to do that, man. Just, uh, I just wanted to have fun at the festival. You, I, well, I you, made, you made me feel a little bit more at home, and I thank you for that. Oh, well, that's what friends are for. I love the fact so, that we're bonding in character so, over. So awful. so okay, there was this Goliath, right? <laughs> oh my God, I had I I had a meaty dwarf woman. Okay, so uh, uh, God, this, this Goliath, this Goliath, easily easily had like like five inches on Doros, height wise. Oh my God, how did that fare out? He fed me grapes the entire time. It was so cathartic. Oh man, princess, man. <laughs> oh, you, you don't, you don't want to mess with that cat scratch fever. Ouch. Oh. <laughs> this goes on for some time. Yeah. Oh. This goes on for several hours. <laughs> There's Tash just like Helga. Please, let's both drink ourselves into coma so we don't have to. Hear Helga's working. She can't drink, but she happily obliges your al alcoholism. Yay. <laughs> we have and to we, we have to have our dragon heart. whiskey for the love of fuck dragon whiskey. <laughs> she and gives I you just, shots. I would also like yes. a shot of dragon whiskey, please. Thank you. She gives you a shot. Weren't you guys drinking oh, like the entire boy. time we were? You shut up! I'm I have an orc liver. 
I, I want How you to know. How smashed are they? What, uh, what was that? Sorry, I cut you off. In terms of drunkenness, you guys are not doing half bad. What they were serving in that lounge was not heavy alcohol. It was light. It was like morning champagne. I will have you know, as an orc, I can handle my liquor. Ain't that right, Helga? As an orc. No, yeah, he's That's actually so not that wrong. We have wrong. giant, big, fat, thick, thick livers. <laughs> 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 Actually, before we continue any further, who would you say was in here again? Like, can I get a recount of who uh, is at the uh, Sweet oh. Dragon? Um, hmm. Um, you have some regular, like, known, recognizable patrons. Um, I want you to roll a perception check, actually, Task, with disadvantage because you are starting to get a little inebriated. <laughs> and drum roll. Ooh. Twelve. Twelve, okay. Uh, there's Hala, Salvador, as I mentioned earlier. They're just chumming it up at a table talking about things. Um, you also see two dwarven workers. They look like they work like blacksmithing or something. They got a lot of like dirt on their face, and they're just talking and kind of shooting cards back and forth. Not gambling, just playing cards. Um, you see a couple humans, look like sailors, just kind of chatting out. You actually have a decent amount of people in here. Um, and you kind of turn around, not noticing anything else, and just go back to drinking. It's just can, uh, common folk and can, uh, a few adventures. Go on, sorry. Go on. No, you're uh, going to do something. Go oh. Uh, well, I actually wanted to get in with Hala and Savador and get in with some dice and just like, want to chum it up with them. Yeah, I was curious. It looks like they're gambling. Right? It looks like they're, they're talking at the moment. There, you go up to you go up to Hala and Salvador. Ah, welcome back. Figured we, I was dead, huh? No, a lot of people have gone missing since the beautiful star of the sun has been turned dark. <laughs> who are, uh, who else have you uh, seen turn up missing? No, no one we know, but we heard of some people going missing. How were the fatalities when it came to all those little creatures running around the city? When the eclipse ended, they all disappeared. Huh. Bizarre. It I seems just... they only thrived in the light that that eclipse made. That is what the mages are saying, that it was some strange, perhaps, summoning of an ancient wizard or deity of some kind. We'll leave it at that, sure. Hmm. Have you met my compatriots, Yoro Magister, fellow brother of the Sands of Ruba, and Mr. Cuddles? <laughs> Is that, uh, the first fellow? Is that the, the, wait, you said the head Magister? That's the other guy who was fighting in the pit. Oh, the, oh, okay, cool. He's, he's a lizard folk sorcerer. Oh, right. We've met, we've had the pleasure. It was a good fight, you two. He bows. And Mr. Cuddle just narrows his eyes and looks, squints and looks at Borky who's sitting Borky in the, waves the with, Borky waves like with a happy Batman. smile. <laughs> he hisses. <laughs> well, if you actually are... If you boys actually like that sort of entertainment, I've actually looked into possibly getting a fight pick going on in here. A legal one. Ooh, they all look very intrigued. How is it? Are you serious? It's something I'd like to keep in the future. Oh, also, hell yeah. also, arch, also some archer, eh, archery training, uh, if you want to take a crack at that. Oh, <laughs> archery. That's pretty useless to people like me. And Hala kind of just leans on the table. Fair enough. Just something if you ever wanted to what? have a crack at a bow what? once or once or once or twice. But the fight pit is something I, I am looking Hala, into. Sorry, Hala is the monk, right? Oh, I thought that She's was a good monk, one. Yeah. Damn it, never mind. Can I wander over there too, actually? Sorry. Okay, Blech. Bell is the Goliath. Borky Hala notices yeah. Hala, finally. Oh, hey, oh, what's big going guy. On, Hala? What's up? You it's smell like okay, a rose. I asked for him to smell good, and I think they nailed it. You're like, do I smell good? Do I smell good? Hmm. Oh. You smell excellent. Okay, Mr. Cuddles good. is like, thank you. I just went to the. T Task will look over to Mr. Cuddles and just no, go. We went. I went to the Royal Mansion. It was awesome. 
Oh, no, no. Oh. They, they, the bird and panic. The, they went upstairs. Me and Tice just. I was just. The bird. Ah, shame they were going. I no, do like I no, 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 no. Hang on. Do I hear that? Let me. Can, can I? Can I? Uh, roll to hear that. I roll a perception check. Eighteen. Yeah, you hear it. You kind of hear it. Like, there's a moment where you're like, meh, nah, mm. doesn't really matter a whole lot. Greco turns around. I have a name, Orc. It's, it's half playful though. <laughs> Hala, Hala, like, like kicks up her feet on the on the table, and she goes, "Oh, it's a shame you went. I'd love to go with you, or at least with them." <laughs> she gives you a wink. Porky a wink. Yeah, like uh, she wants to go to the romantic. Uh, does Borky does, does Borky get what that meant? Oh, no. Insight check. <laughs> wow, you are oh, the special Jesus. boy tonight. Um, insight check. Nat twenty. She's not interested in you. She's uh, interested in the escorts. Oh, but, 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 but it hurts a little, but like, it makes sense. You want to go for the escorts, right? No, no, okay, so it's yeah. fair. It's fair. Borky, do you think this might be a nice idea if we actually do end up getting a fight pit? That could be a prize. A uh, nice little, a uh, nice little coupon that on your way excellent. to the mansion. I. They like free advertising. Yes, that I. I think that'd be a wonderful idea. We could hey, park yeah. more. Hey, there we go. <laughs> everyone just kind of gives him a look. Can everyone just give him a look? <laughs> now, now panics in on this. Just like, hey, what the fuck? Hey, yeah, come yeah, on now. Yeah. <laughs> I heard wrong. I heard, I heard wrong wrong What's up? <laughs> Well, panic. I've been thinking about this. You know how uh, a lot of the things that we've been given options to put into this place. A fight pit would be nice, and if we get a fight pit, at the same time, we can also have prizes. And one of those prizes being maybe a ticket to the Romantian. Uh, that... I'd fight for that, and she nudges Salvador. Salvador, I would not fight for that. that Just an a... idea. Yeah, that, that is a good idea. I think in the future, yes, that would be an amazing idea, but I, I really want my stage. Oh no, we'll start. We're gonna get you your stage. That's coming first. This is a long goal. This is a long-term mm -hmm. goal that I'm looking at. Yes, I agree. And I mean, also, can... but the fact that we're actually sitting here and we're hearing of people's interest in a, such a fight pit is good to know that it's something that people want. Prize or no put... prize, if you can open a betting pool, we'll be here. Okay. Sounds good yeah, to me. Somebody else not. Yeah, well, we I need a book. I mean, scarballs. Scarballs. Fucking Jesus what? Christ! Right behind him. <laughs> Jesus. She's like right behind you. Yeah. She pans up from she she pans oh, up fuck. next to you on the seat. God, I always um I got two <laughs> quick questions for you actually because you just remind me of something else. Uh, if we do, was to do a fight pit, can you bookie? Oh no, you need a uh, cleric of that uh, god of gambling or whatever I'm, to be your bookie. There's a god of gambling. There's, there's such a thing. I'm so. Yeah. You never heard of Talentura, the god of gambling nope. and dumb luck? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can you, can you, fuck yeah. Can, can you say that? Can you say? Could you say I that will, in not Scarbles voice? <laughs> Talentura, Tell the god Tell of gambling and bets. Oh my god, this is cool. Tell in god of bets. Of God and dumb of luck. luck and gambling, right? Yeah, basically. Luck, dumb luck, and gambling. Chance, basically. Right on. That's... Yeah, funny about those folks. Uh, they actually don't have temples, so you gotta do a little searching yourself. Yeah, wouldn't I just be like a casino? Wouldn't that... Would, is that... I... Huh? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if... That actually, damn! She looks up at you, Borky, like <laughs> the I ultimate need... contemplation. I need to. I think I need to go sit down and, and think for a while. But that's sorry. Yeah, Not actually, thanks. Uh, real fact. Well, we were walking back here on uh, the way, uh, being brought by uh, uh, our good friend Remy. Uh, he. Yeah, you know, we swung. We we oh, swung yes. by. Uh, you... There were a couple of goblins on the side of the road. And they traded some stuff with us, but they said uh, they had like a queen uh, called Phantom Limb Stover. Do you know what's up with that? She kind of rubs her chin. Let me roll and see if she's heard of Phantom Limb Stover. Phantom Limb Stover. 
Phantom Limb Sturve. Yeah. Oh, no, I know sorry. her. Yeah. Greckles yeah. at this point turns his head over and and jumps in on this. Yeah, yeah. She's she. Uh, I ran into some goblins talking about her. She's a uh, she's a what? bugbear. What? Oh my. What? God. Wait, so oh, she's shit. what? But like a bug a, a bugbear's goblins. A... Think of think of it this way. Goblins are the short ones. Hobgoblins okay. are the medium-sized ones. Big, bugbears are the large also, ones. Big, big, slight. I don't know what she looks like, but I, I have a couple pals of mine who swing in here every once in a while. They mentioned her. She's got some goblin merchant thing she's oh, trying so out or something. So she's legit, is what you're saying? Yeah, is it legit? I don't know. I mean, she's a peddler, if you ask me, but no, oh well. If your friends who have any know-how about this person come back, let them know that we're interested in talking to them. No, I haven't seen them for a year, but um, I sure, I guess. I Keep your ear to the ground. Well, they are kind of droopy, and she starts, like, <laughs> flipping her ears. We could ask her. Well, we could ask House Roddy. We could. I'm going to go talk to House Roddy. Borky gets up and just walks <laughs> off. Uh, you, you do perhaps, that. I actually... Hmm? Perhaps don't say his uh, name out loud. It's not him. It's another snake man. Borky leaves the room. <laughs> okay. You, yeah. go to, you go to find House Rod? Okay. Uh, Panic. You go to that back shed yeah. where Hasrat is, Borky. Can I can I interject something just real quick? For sure, yeah. Uh, Panic. You should should we follow him? We we both know what happens when Borky starts talking. Uh, yeah. We don't want him to make any deals. Yeah. Task. Maybe you should come with. We the. Pro <laughs> <laughs> no way. I'm staying. I'm staying here. I want to collect rumors. I think we should split right. the parties, guys. Split the party twenty feet. I know it's crazy. I know it's a little bit bad shit, and I, I know this is very uncommon. But, but don't worry, I'm not gonna give away the tavern for a dollar. Oh, he got me, guys. I really did. <laughs> no, because I, I, I still, I still wanted to follow up yeah, with no, talking absolutely. to everyone, see if I can just get any can we do other two, like can, random. Can we do two scenes? Is it's totally okay? fine. Yeah, then do you guys do your scene first, then. Hey. Oh, hey guys, you join me. I really appreciate the kinship. <laughs> Well, that has been that has been the theme of the evening. Yes. All right, so what? By the way, guys, before what was it like? Like, uh, you were talking about it, but I didn't get it. But like, was it nice? Oh. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, well. <laughs> Please, someone draw that. Right, okay. And then Borky just knocks on the door. Okay. Hey. Guy who's totally not horse wrong. Are you there? There's the no answer. Borky. Is it locked? Borky. No, it's open. You grab the, the knob and you turn it. <laughs> Borky slowly peers his head in. Hello. You see a snake with a note in its mouth coiled up on, on a tiny little barrel. Bork I'll, I'll just how, how, how Borky carefully, all like, the time? just like, like his hand comes like, take. The snake looks at you with adorable beady little Borky eyes. looks back with a, oh, Bork, a Borky looks snake. at it with beady eyes too, and Borky very quickly grabs the grabs the note. You rip it like a note that was like nailed to a wall, like it rips from its teeth. Oh, and you see a bunch of symbols, Borky. Uh, uh, I'll t I'll take it. What kind of language is this? Does Borky know what this is, or is it um? Uh... Oh, it's a note. Okay, it's so it's note. written language. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm writing down what the note says. God damn it, Harold! Why do you gotta be so is cute? It Harold, is it Harold? <laughs> oh, it's, it's Tim. It's Tim. Yeah, we got Tim. Oh, it's Tim. Got, wait. Okay. Uh, hopefully, he's got his life back together. This is what your note says. God damn it. Oh, what is it? So what does oh. it say? Uh, this place is marked for death. I'm going somewhere else. Or I'm finding somewhere else to go. What? Uh, can we need to go... Uh, uh, panic? Uh, can I roll something to see what he's trying to get at? Roll an intelligence check. 
Okay. Would I? Would I? Would I have any? Would this be thieves cant of any kind? No, right. this is not thieves cant. Twenty. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, ten. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, I'm working. gonna roll too. Intelligence check. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, just because you Wait. can't read doesn't mean you're stupid. God damn it! We just came back and now 16. someone wants to fucking end it all. Are you can't. Yeah, sorry, I just, I'm checking the rolls here and comparing. Okay. I assume, oh, this is bad news, and that's it. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna privately message you, Panic. Oh. oh. Oh, this is true. Borky has outsmarted Greckles for once. Rot row. Rot row. <laughs> it's bad when the DM starts whispering. <laughs> oh no. This is how I'll kill them this way, and then this way, and then oh hi guys. Wow. Um. What's up? Is 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 that all the? Uh... Is that all the info I'm getting out of this? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll elaborate All right, but guys, more. how are you all doing? Okay. Uh, how's the, how's everyone doing at home? Oh, uh, you know, we're just marked for death. You know, just had sex. <laughs> <laughs> so generally, pretty good. <laughs> that might be coming to an end, though. I don't know about you. I just had everyone stand up and crow for three hours. <laughs> ah! Ah! So that's what those noises were. <laughs> no, trust me. You'll, <laughs> trust me. You'll, you'll get into it. There you go. That's. I don't want to be a chicken. <laughs> want to be a duck. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Um. I think Hasrad may be telling us that someone in our tavern or one of us potentially made someone very angry. Oh, I can't think of ever doing that to anyone ever. <laughs> Damn. Okay, let's. You mean like the fire Nazis, uh... Brork? We've pissed off a lot of people. All right, in our I, time. Mean, I mean, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go over the milk. Um, yeah, sun Nazis. Okay. We're just calling them sun Nazis, and you're. Are... <laughs> we're just we're just calling them that now. <laughs> the night. Um, unless there's a unless the they don't deserve of, a proper night name. Aura, fuck them. Right. Well, st United clergy yeah. of Oren. <laughs> yeah, but fuck them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, still have a D though. I don't. Yeah, didn't he die, die or something? Last we've seen of him. No. <laughs> I, I don't know. That whole thing was. Um, but Hassard wouldn't know about that. Um, we should actually probably close well, down the hold tavern. Up, hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! There's, there's, there are the people from the stand. Maybe the he's my, may, maybe he's mocked for death, and he doesn't want to hurt us because we're such great guys. <laughs> it might not be one of us, but it, it's it, it ha, no, it has it has to be something it that Hasrod just please. learned about. Otherwise, it, he w otherwise it he wouldn't can't have come to be us. Type over kid. Nothing could happen to him. Mm. Well, we don't even know if he's even around. We need to get in there and let some people, know, guys. Okay, yeah, let's. We need to discuss with the, this with Task. He needs to know too. All right. Um. Uh, also, just... vote, voting to shut the tavern down for the night, extraneous circumstances. Yeah, yeah, uh, I guess we shut yeah, down for the I night. Think... Uh, yeah, what? Yeah. This is it. Okay. So you, you get everybody out? So we, we come in. Yeah. Panic's going to be in like, Panic's going to be in like, uh, we're sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, finish your drinks. The, the bar is closing. We have some extenuating circumstances. Does require us to shut down the bar. Everyone, thank you for your patronage. Tell your friends, tell your family about the sweet dragon, and we will see you at another date. We will be reopening tomorrow oh. morning. Aw, like Hala, mostly Hala and the group that tends to regular are a little I disappointed, didn't, but didn't okay. we'll give you we'll give you a discount. We'll give you yes, uh, everyone, everyone, and uh, just panic. Just grabs a bunch of pieces of paper and just writes down one free drink. <laughs> I owe you. Starts, I yeah, owe you. Starts handing them out to people. Drink. I hope that you're playing for that. Helga just says you're handing out like the. Three yes, three yes. Oh, pay for the we're obviously paying for it. Hello. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, everyone leaves. Except for, except for the staff, I'm guessing? Um, yeah, except for the staff. Yeah. Like, Scarble, they live there. Um, Scarble stays. Helga stays. Uh, Ty Burpington, weirdly really oh. enough, not home yet. Oh, no, oh, no, um, no, 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 <laughs> Uh, oh, don't worry about it. Don't panic <laughs> about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, eventually, everyone gets out, and boom, the door is closed. Panic, I, guess. I want, panic, right. I want, panic, I want you to roll an investigation check. Investigation. Um. <laughs> Ten. Ten. Okay, nothing out of the ordinary. Everybody else can roll investigation as well. Ten. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> We're, we're both a little yeah. wiped out. Yeah, you're a little tired. Everyone's pretty tired and relaxed. Was someone drinking in the corner, Borky? Why is there a stern wait, there? Wait, a, a, a stern? Like a, a stein? Stein. Stein, sorry. A stein. There's a the stein back. in the back corner. Looks like someone was sitting there. So Borky sees the stein. Yeah, you see a stein. It's a it's a table right in the corner. It's completely dark. You actually mm -hmm. barely noticed it. Is there someone there? No. Scarble was sitting there. No. Ah, I don't remember. I don't like this. I'm, no, I'm hey, jumping. Hey, hey, is is, is there somewhere I can? Uh, uh, no, 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 uh, no. Dive under right, the bar table. Roll, 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 roll fast, <laughs> like, I, uh, so. Okay, it was the, it was the dwarves. It so, was. Hala and uh, the a uh, uh, birdman. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was a human the one too. over there in the corner there. Was it a human? Helga! Helga, you watch everyone who walks in here. You're a warrior. Who is in that corner? Uh, I think I saw a soldier in the armor. What did the armor look like? It was well used, mm. old. Any crests? Or... Wait a minute! Oh, oh my oh. god! What? It's the dude. Remember when we first got into town and we screwed up the guy's plan of bringing Willow into an alleyway? Oh, well, oh, you gotta be kidding me! That guy got how, arrested. How would he no, get? He, out didn't, he got kicked out. He was kicked out of town. That doesn't mean he got back in. We oh, yeah. are. Mm. Helga just saw a man in very battered up ornate armor. That is all. No symbol mm. I could see. Uh. He asked for a stern. He asked not to be bothered. Mm. So Helga did not bother him. Did not see him leave though. That is odd to Helga. Helga sees everyone Check leave. the rooms. Okay. I'm got your Check lion, them your lion door has 18. not been touched. Is, 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 is Meryl here? Meryl would be home at this point. She only works in the uh, morning. Okay. okay. Also, I'm gonna do me a solid. I'm gonna do this real quick. I wanna summon up the. I wanna summon up Taurus, and I also wanna summon up the owl bear. Oh yeah. Hey. Okay. The owl bear is summoned. Mm -hmm. It looks very lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good Ooh. owl bear. It's cut. So I just put patting under its chin. That's a good. Ah. He, like, bites oh my you. God, what the fuck? a nap at you. <laughs> All right, so I, I get check the eggs. Borky it. runs into the kitchen. Oh, never mind. Uh, it's kind of not an animal, so it, it just kind of begins to trot around the perimeter of the room, like almost like a little like wind up toy. Did it, did, going uh, did the, the did did Brork say if we could give this thing commands? Uh, you can command it to basically act as a dark, guard dog. Find to... someone who's hiding in this. Find someone who's hiding in this tavern, who's not currently visible. Okay, the owlbear gets down on all fours, begins to move around, eventually going into the back of the kitchen. And it drags out Ty Borpington. Oh, Mr. Borpington! Me. Yeah. I'm trying Mr. to Mr. Borpington! Nap. Borky, ha, ha. I didn't oh, die. Borky. I didn't die. Oh, oh my, my god, god, you're alive! Oh, oh, you're all alive! Oh my. How they gave me your note? I got the eggs in a, a crate with with a with a heat rock that I use oh to keep my food warm. Um, I don't know if anything will come of it. Also, could no, the owlbear bear? Borky, put me Borky down? just holds him. Borky just takes tie into his arms. I missed you so much. I missed you. I missed you too, Borky. I, I was, was scared that you were gone. Tarisk, I'm gonna have Tarisk now do this for the <laughs> owl bear's sake. Okay. Uh... Uh, 
Uh, Taurus goes back to where Hosfred was, given that he's the only forum foreign one. Right. Okay. Uh, Greckles, you do that under uh -huh. a bar stool. Uh, I was you, wherever I do you, wherever do you I need can. to say it out loud or you. I was, to, just, I was just, oh, it's I was just, just people, need, people need to know okay. what we're doing. Is all. Sorry. Okay, I just I oh, just no didn't want to interrupt the bit. Been. Um, no, in I I would love to help investigating, but mm -hmm. I would also love to stay hidden and uh, disguise myself as just more info right. using using Forky the hat. puts down Ty okay. real quick and I will. Oh, I heard yelling. You kicked everyone out. I'm sorry. I've been running around with my head cut off. Mm -hmm. Different metaphor. Um, I've been running around uh, collecting food for wintertime and also for the Harvest Festival. There's a cooking I, competition. I, you're gonna I'm win so that. sorry. I've been, I've been... We're quick, though. Uh, I've, has everyone been informed of what it is, or should we just tell everyone real fat? Like... It's, it's coming up empty. All you right, can't so, find anything. Uh, with with Tarisk, it's okay, just can your we, regular like, can patrons. Can everyone just stand in a circle, essentially? Everyone, type, I say tavern meeting. I guess it's everyone get in here kind of moment. Yeah, Hal Halga doesn't move. Halga's staying uh, in the counter. We went, I went out back to ask, oh, that's right, who's a friend, though? A uh, question. And he left a note that said, one second, it said, this place is marked for death. I'm finding somewhere else to go. So, obviously that means that uh, someone... Yeah, you'll someone be getting off. time and a half going forward, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, lovely! I'm, I'm just. I don't know, Law. Like, Tysk, is there any idea who it could be? Who would be marked for death here? You seem to, like, want to mark people for death. Like, if anyone was here, who'd be like, that guy should die? Well, Brorik has been seen in the Underdark once before. Like, he, he, he's angry. He doesn't come across as uh, like vengeful, though. The, I think we can safely rule out the paladins of Orin. I think they're for for right now. They're done with us, and plus they're paladins. They wouldn't do something like this. Tiango. Maybe well, panic wouldn't put out. So. <laughs> uh, for yeah. the for, for the record, I still kind of want to be explored. Are you kind of? You cut out, dude. You still want to what? I still want to. I still want to. Let me let me jump out real quick. Okay. Okay. How about now? You're good. Okay. Uh, disguised and hidden. I really would like to keep exploring, looking for any sort of clues at all. Okay. Like Full if I investigation if, check. I was about to say if I could uh, take twenty here, I totally would. Uh, oh God. Ta nap ta one. Task mm -hmm. will uh, look to Scarbles, Helga, and Ty. Is there anyone who has a grudge against you that you would know about this? Well, for me, it's the sea hag, but she's kind of, you know, uh, by the way, not alive. Hags, I got a great story for you. We'll talk after. Okay, we'll talk later. Helga, Helga just kind of like cleans the glass. There are many who want Helga dead, but most I kill first. Nate. I mean, I got some bets that I got to pay for, but it's like, I don't know. It's, no one's going to kill me over five gold. You kidding me? So we can rule out. Helga, possibly. Ty. Scarbles. What else? Uh, Meryl, well, not he looks obviously down Meryl. At, 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 at um, Gripples. This might be a long shot, but do you think... Different. Oh, God. Uh, do you think our friend trapped inside... Uh, trapped inside a fucking metal... Bo uh, the metal suit may be up against this again? What? You mean... You mean Dolmar? Yeah. In... No, he's 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 sealed away with um, he's sealed away with Edward. Uh, Edward's got some sort of magic magic box he's keeping him in. I I don't know the specifics of it, but I it's, I think it's safe to say that we can rule Dolmar out of this. And if uh, just to be safe, we can check. We can we can go talk to we can go talk to Edward tomorrow probably, but um. Crap, wait. I, th I think we, we can rule Dolmar out for the time being. What about Pug? <laughs> no, he's. I don't think we. Have no, he's a good I'm boy. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> 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 
Oh, good. Like, we we what? told you we were dogs for a while. It's fine. Anyways. What? Right, what, you, um, you did mention this. Borky, Borky scratches his head. It's like what the hell? Uh, so there was a guy. We didn't. So we didn't see Mark. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mark. Okay. okay. Do you want? Do you want to say something? Mark for, yeah. Mark for death. That's that's. Uh, from what I understand, it's more of an underground term. So I think, I think this is something like. Less than official. So I think we can rule out like. You know, upper authority. I really don't think Brog is behind this. Is the um, uh, money really quick? Mm -hmm. Back when I had the still have a dream, he mentioned about something being close. He mentioned he was going to give something to a friend of yours in the Eastern Isles. Okay. Uh, is the mug still there? Uh, yeah. It's the it's mug empty. did it. I want to roll empty or full, investigation check actually. on. Okay. It's empty. Twelve. It's a mug. It's big. Someone used it. Well, I mean, like, there, there's got to be more to it. Someone left the mug here. The guy. There's got to be tracks. There's got to be like showcasings of like where the the seat was in comparison to where the person was sitting. Uh, the seat is definitely far back. Uh, the mug is kind of just tossed to the side of the table. It's pretty obvious that drinking wasn't the intention. I want to cast Prime Evil Awareness. Ooh. Yay! What are you going to try to find? A human. A human, okay. That's a how much of a radius? Uh, yeah. Up to six miles. Okay. You sense and your world lights up like a Christmas tree. Ben next door is a human. Good old, good old Ben. Good guy. And so are so many other there's there's so many humans around you. It's hard to distinct which one you're looking for. Is there any? Is there a human? Oh, sorry, I'm not a human. Sorry. Let's see. I'm just looking this over. Use your action. Spend one of your ranger spell focus where on the region around you for one minute per level. The spell slot. You can sense whether the following types of creatures are present within the one mile of you or with up to six miles if you favor terrain. Okay. Uh, da, 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 creatures does not reveal its location or number. Okay. Uh, well, this is a bust. Doesn't really work for cities. Really good for the woods, though. Yeah. Well, I am going to bed since we are closed and there's nothing else for me to do. And she sets a glass. Helga sets a glass down and begins Why to not? turn in for the night. Yeah, I guess I'm gonna head to bed too. You need any help, Warpington? No, I'm fine. I'm just. I mean, I should go to bed as well. I have to be up early for the fish market. I have to. Warpington. Yes. Did Helga tell you of my request? Yes, she did. I don't know how I'm going to find that. I have some connections, though. I will look into it. Thank you. I actually you. have a really good recipe that I would like to, to maybe try out. Hmm. If you wouldn't mind. Save a piece for me on a side. I'd like to make something as well. Okay, I'll have to talk to the druids, though, because from my understanding, most of the hunters are cut off for the season, so now's the time to buy meat if you're looking for it. Alrighty, I'm gonna find a ladder that's in the back and get on the roof of the building, and I'm gonna oh. fucking stalk the night. Okay. Should we take shifts guarding tonight, then? That might that not be a horrible idea. Wait, who has who has that scrying pendant? That was me. Okay. The hummingbird, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I was just wondering, like, like <laughs> uh, the problem is, is with with me scrying the hummingbird, would it also grant me dark vision, or no. am I only just it okay? Just has yeah. regular, it has regular vision. Yeah, I have up to like 120 dark vision, so I'm sure I'll be without the scrying bird. You'll also be without sleep, though. That's, we'll take, that's why I was like, should we take oh, well. shifts? That's why I was pretty. Sh sure, if anyone wants to take shifts. Yep. Okay. All right. So you guys all head to yep. bed for the night? Uh, Borky will take second shift. Okay. Uh, I'll take I'll take a early AM shift. Okay. I guess I'll take the shift in the between, then. While hidden! Pull out my dice because I put them away like an idiot. Ooh. I want uh, Tass, you're taking first watch. Sure am. Roll perception. Sure can. 16. 16. Okay. Looks like I look something up. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh -oh. We face Ruh worse. Rut roll. Oh. Okay. This is 16. Okay. You see nothing. You see some drunkards walking through the city streets singing. Your three drunken dwarves. They're singing terribly, and you hear a woman open her door and go, Shut up! And they close the doors. <laughs> um, they kind of go about their business and nothing else. All right, well, switching out. Borky's, uh, is Borky, Borky is on the roof, I guess. With Gripples beside him yep. with his axe. Soon this will This better be not be you. It's better not be you. I so I'll be mad at you if it's you. <laughs> okay. Roll perception. <laughs> Fifteen. Okay. You see uh, nothing? Uh, panic, wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. <laughs> You do hear a bang, and you see a cat scatter from an alleyway chasing a mouse. That's all you see, Borky. Shifty eyes. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Borky just comes into panic's room and just slaps him on the ass. Tag, you're right. Ah! Uh, yeah, okay, tender. <laughs> okay, hang on. Easy, easy. Like a sunburn. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> I, uh, I guess I, I, I look as well. I'm on the lookout. I'm on the prowl. Are you on the porch or on the roof? Where, where are you? Where are you? Where are you I'm watching from? Uh, I guess I'll get on the roof if I want to be thorough. Okay. Roll perception. Uh, natural twenty. Oh. 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 Wow. Uh oh. <laughs> Two. Wow. Two. 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 From one of the alleyways. Oh no. <gasps> You Fuck. see Tiengo walk out. He's got something in his hand. I want you to roll a stealth check real quick. Oh, oh fuck! It's worst boy. Oh fuck! Oh, Natural it's two 20. nat 20s in a row! You get down immediately on your stomach on the roof. He does not notice you. And you see him dragging something on the ground. Dude, you see that. he's dragging a large cassowary, which is a giant blue bird. And you see him dragging a, sa a giant salamander, a giant red salamander on the ground. And you hear him walk up the steps of the front door of the tavern. And you hear a punk and a punk in the door. I'm going to, I'm going to dive. I'm going to dive back into the house and I'm going to run. I'm going to just as quietly as possible with my stealth roll, just open up everybody's door. And he's going to be like, guys, oh, wake up. the fuck up. What is it? Tiengo, oh, Tiengo makes sense. Here. Oh, God, I don't assume he's looking for a drink. He's got bodies oh. with him. I think he, he, he's at the tavern. We need to get ready. We need to wake oh. everybody else up. All right, right let's now. do it. I will, uh, I'm, I'm, I, actually, hold on. I'm going to actually go around. The, I want to actually circumvent the alleyways to go into the street. So no, I can no, get no, a back no, shot. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Yeah. Hold up. You just yeah, did a yeah, lot in yeah, like no, a very no, short yeah, amount no, of time. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I apologize. Real, real quick. Yeah. But like, we don't know what he's here for. He's alone. He's, he's by himself. He's, he's got Maybe two he's bodies with him. Scare us or something. I, I don't. Let's not fight him. I, you heard how strong he is. Let's be careful. Wake up, Helga. Welcome, Helga. Just get right. Borky's shaking a little bit. Borky's actually really scared because it's someone coming. This is someone. Yeah. All right, um, let's, let's, all right, I'm gonna. Go. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm actually gonna go wake up Helga. Okay. How do you guys Very go downstairs? Tenderly. <laughs> Very Stealth. stealthily. Okay. You guys head downstairs like children not on Christmas morning. Um, panic! You knock on Helga's door, and she she rises up wearing a nightgown. She has uh, ringlets or whatever the ring things in her hair, and like a face mask on. Oh my god! And like she's like, "What do you want?" 
Shh. Penis like, Penis like, shh. We well, have, now you want to be quiet. This we is have, refreshing. We have an intruder. Intruder, that is impossible. She gets out of bed. Helga, it's Tiengo. The Red Death. He's at our doorstep. Is that what knocking noise was? And she goes over to the front door. Gather your weapons. I know you fought him before. I did not fight him on equal ground. And yet he still kicked my ass. She grabs the front doorknobs. Look. Look. Stick if, on. If it gets to that point, we're going to need your strength. She pulls open the doors and you see nailed to each door, the castuary and the salamander with black iron nails bolted to the door and they're bleeding out onto the so door. Like, onto they're the on the floor. front. So those two were, were nailed to the front door. You just left a like, message. Like a wreath. Yeah. Like a wreath. Like, so they're just. They're, they're, they're just nailed to your front door, like with with a nail so through the, the head. So the castuary and the salamander. Do we know them? They're animals. No, they're just they're just creatures. Yeah. Roll an intelligence check. All right. Oh, Jesus. Fourteen. Hold on. Let me. Uh, let me seven. Ooh, I get the roll. Yay! Intelligence. <laughs> I... Why did she nail no, the animals to her? Oh no. Maybe yeah, he's a fucking crazy. serial killer. Panic? Intelligence. Oh, I thought it was. Just, I thought. I thought it was just the people at the door. Um, no, you're there too. Everyone's there at this point. Intelligence. Hoi. Fourteen. Would help. Okay. Would help. Um, task. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna roll for Helga too. Helga's a smart lady. Um, panic. Task. This is a weird selection of animals. Helga narrows her eyes. And then you watch as she looks up at the cassowary and slowly to you, Greckles, then to the salamander and slowly to you, Task. And then it clicks. These animals are representing you. What the fuck? I will get Mop to clean up. Someone get the animals off of door and put in bin or something. She All goes right. over. <laughs> Porky, I'll, I'll grab something to put them in, Porky. Okay, uh, all right, so do like, do we, uh... Here, bro, okay, Porky, I, I got a crowbar. Say. What's, 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 what's Task doing? Hmm. I don't know if this is stupid, but... What do what subspecies do uh, tiefling fall under? Fiend. Fiends. And I have that primeval awareness for fiends. You detect multiple fiends. Hello, uh, it is me. <laughs> you do. You do detect. Well, yeah, you, you detect Tannic. He's right there. Um, you also do detect one decently a di fair distance from you, but close to the. The closest, second closest to you at the moment is still a fair distance off. I, fuck me, I kind of want to, like, probably, like, stay behind, like, just with out of range, just to watch where the body goes. Like, I want to stay just close out of sight enough that I could, like, for 120 feet... I could use my primeval awareness to like predator vision this man from that distance. Yeah, 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 yeah or nay? I don't know. It's, it's, it's honestly it's your call. Your call. We're, we're taking stuff down. If you can track him, like, I I want to. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 I do. Actually, oh. I don't want to meta game. But uh, fuck. What? What is it? Have the sparrow. Oh. That doesn't go that far. Like I have a hundred. I have a hundred and twenty oh. pure. Yeah, it won't work for him. It is starting to be sunrise though. At this okay. point, though. 
So you follow him? I'm only following enough that he's just out of my primeval awareness. So, like, just far enough that I can at least follow the body within that site just to see where he goes so I can map it out. You know, actually, I'll go with you, too. I'm the other stealthy boy, and two heads are better than one in this case. So you're trying to keep a decent distance between you and him. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's why. It's, like, 120, like, again, 120 pure dark vision plus with primeval awareness. So, like, I'm predator man Zito, can you, with uh, that much distance. You're trying to cut out a little bit. Thank you so much. There you go. So how, we, how much heard, did you not hear? It was, no, we heard it. We heard it. It just it was a little bit choppy. Um, I will say this. I want you to roll a survival. Both of you roll a survival check. Because you are now attempting to track this man in, in morning traffic at this point. That's a big nine. 23. Okay. Task, you're squirmy. You're very good at weaving and ducking through crowds at this point. You keep your eyes on just out of range, and eventually you, using your ability to correlate distance and location, he's probably back in the underbelly now. Because he stops moving at a certain point. Okay, well, at least I have... I just wanted to be able to map out where exactly he came from, or where he was going. <sighs> Alright, well, I got what I wanted. I'm gonna head back. Yeah, okay. Forky at this point has like gotten the second one off. Ah, oh my God, it was it was what wedged on there. I hope he used a hammer, not his fist, though. Now my clothes are covered in blood yeah, this too. This is what happens when when you when you when you're too sexy, and now he's angry at us because you're too sexy. Uh, getting no, Borky. He's angry at Taz. Why would he? Why would? I think if anybody, yeah. he'd be angry yeah. at me. But or me, or me, because I just I don't... I'm like a spring breeze, and when I'm gone, you realize I'm missing, and that's sad, right? Helga <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, well, rolls in a barrel. Going... Helga rolls in a barrel to put the bodies. All in. right, so uh, wait, can we? Eat the... He holds up the bird. Keep the bodies. He... Keep the bodies here. Tess says oh, okay. walks in. Panic's, going to, will... sit. Panic's going, to, going to sit down at, at the table. I want to get a map of the lower crafting district and map out where my primeval awareness took the body. It was a fair distance. All right, I'm going to map it out from where he started and where it ended. Okay. And also, I'm going to roll survival check and investigation check on them bodies. Is, is Greckles with you as well? I came. Well, I was yeah. with him, but I assume we're back in. Okay, roll investigation on the bodies. Ah! Seven. These animals are super foreign. They're really foreign. They're also expensive. Like looking at these, these are exotic animals. Um, roll a survival check for your map. Oh my god, ten. It's crude but you know he's in the underbelly, and it looks like he took the most direct path to the Sweet Dragon. Oh, we can't tell the poli we can't tell the town's guards because then they'll know we went down there. Yeah. Will they? What the hell, what the so, hell did we do to piss that, him off? That's what I want to know. Task, Grecos, if there's anything you're not telling us, it needs to be on the table now. I'm gonna. I, I honestly don't remember if yeah, I did like, anything wrong, so I'm gonna roll intelligence. Okay. Yeah, it's eleven. Here, actually. God damn it! We're just matching rolls tonight. <laughs> oh, can I all? Can I also roll something to see if maybe? Yeah, can you can roll intelligence well. too. Uh twelve. Wow. Intelligence. Not I said eleven. Let me roll. <laughs> Seven. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, Good yeah old he's Barkey. angry. <laughs> the only thing I could remember, I think I tried to stop him from walking and then I snuck in that one time. This is asinine. We're in good favor with every man. If, if he went after us while they're gone. We're, we're in good favor with every man. We're not in good favor with Tiango. True, but every man, Tiango is under every man. Is it not. really that petty that... I challenged his authority when he was trying to intimidate me? 
maybe maybe he's following somebody else's orders. That's the only other thing I can think Every of. Everyman likes us. Everyman does like yeah. most of us. Everyman also told Everyman gave an order to Tiango to leave us alone. But we okay with with the two bodies, we can assume that it's just Task and Grekos. Why would that be? If anything, I'd think he'd want my head. I understand he's the Red Death or whatever, but I would think mild conversation wouldn't be, up, be beyond him. Is He heard that we're going to make a fight pit. That's what it is. He is so mad we're going to cut in on his business. Are you sure? I really don't think that's it. Yeah, it's a little it's too specific cheese, for that it? big guy. It's my idea, no one else's. Guys, I know Helga. this is going to sound Helga. very paranoid. Helga. Yes. The man you saw, what what was he? Could you tell? You're going to have to be specific. Well, that was a different accent. My bad. <laughs> the You're man going to the... have to be specific. Like, the man in the corner. Answer. The man in the corner you saw. Ah, yes. I saw armor. It was just armor. Simple armor. But Helga has come to thinking now. She looks at you, Greckles. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you are not only one with hat. Oh. See, this is the this is the thing, though, is that I I said in the very beginning I said if I could disguise the hat I would. No, Helga's saying that they might be using a disguise self spell. Oh, uh, okay, okay. And yeah. he he's like one of the only few people who actually have direct like entry to the in, hat. Yeah, yeah. Can, not even just to the hat, but to every other changeling piece that they have hidden. Oh, is every was is has any has. Has anyone heard from Mel or Merchant? No. I wonder if there's some kind of uprising going on in the underbelly. Oh, I did. That doesn't make any sense, though, because every man, apparently we were told that every man went off on an every, excursion. Every man was wearing, uh, was disguised as that guy and was hiding here from Tiango, and then Tiango gave us a bird and a salamander because he thought we were hungry. Why? Maybe Wait. we're not being Wait. told the whole truth, or maybe Hasrod doesn't know everything. What? I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that the, the nailing bodies to our door is a clear okay. sign that something he was he was on to something at least he's calling us out specifically well, well, who, who everyone was here yesterday or, or except for us we left and he's... mr bobbington was out all day uh, why the nature the nature of the two bodies is why? just task and greckles Can... what borky gets up borky goes into the kitchen hey. Mr. Boppington, are you here? He's sleeping in his Borky bedroom, probably. He goes and knocks on the door. Oh. Is the dawn I, already? Mr. Boppington, you were gone all day yesterday. What time did you get here, right? Is this Shut an up. interrogation? No! It's <laughs> longer when you got in last night, which... Uh, he reaches over and grabs a bedrobe and, and dresses himself up in it. Oh, I'm sorry, Borky. He rubs his fishy eye. What, time what did was you that? Get in here last night, actually, because we got in. Turns out we were live. You weren't there. You were out shopping, and we can't. Oh, I got back at like five o'clock or so oh, around okay. sunset. Did anyone? And then I went into the kitchen and, and dropped off all my pickled meats and vegetables, and I just I just fell asleep. Uh, <laughs> did you did any, did you see anyone when you were gone? While you were out shopping, did you meet anyone who was weird or anything like that? Hmm, meet anyone when I was? Oh, I ran into Meryl nice, on her nice. way to school. Did, um, she does well. Um, yes, me too. Um, 
Hmm. Anyone in particular? I, I meet a oh, lot of uh, strange people, well, especially actually, when I look not, in the mirror. Uh, well, actually, not to scare you. Uh, and please don't scream. And I, and I, and I mean this honestly. Okay. Uh, someone nailed a bunch of dead bodies to our uh, tavern. Oh, no. That is, that is very scary. Um... Oh gosh, I mean, there's lots of adventurers and people with okay. axes around, so I'm can, so sorry, can, can Borky. Borky I don't know. Check to see if he, Ty Borky is telling the truth. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. 17. Okay. He's telling the truth. I'm sorry. I see that we might have it. We might be dealing with a shape changer. And I just want you to know that I feel like. Yeah. Oh! Those are mm. those are very rare. Mm -hmm. Okay, I, I you know what I I will keep that in mind. Should we have a secret code in case you are shape changed the or I'm shape changed? Is is Nakamur? Mm -hmm. Yay! Nakamur, yeah. that's it, a very it, delicious yeah, it's, dish it's that I can make or something. Anyways. Oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> mm. I, I, I actually, perfect timing, Borky. I'm going to get up and I need to go okay, to the fish be, market. So, be, all he right, thank himself. you. Borky comes out. How ironic. Oh, Borky comes back. What are we talking about? Oh, yeah, Ty, Ty's Ty Borky did. I thought it might be other mag. Maybe I'm finding Doros tomorrow. I was about to say, maybe this would be a good idea to get the authorities involved. It's not like we're. Granted, we're not in the best graces with Brorik, but the rest of them seem to like us okay. But Doros and his crew are not part of the paladins. They're just city guard. Exactly. Doros is a paladin. Yeah, Doros is a paladin. And so is oh, Einford and Grinelda. Yeah, the three. Yeah. those three are. Welch and Sebastian don't appear to be paladins. My... Out of character here. So we can. I think we're like out of character. Is there anything else you think we can cover on this? Translate. No, in fact, I think we'll end the session here. Yeah, I was actually going to say that I don't understand the problem of actually going to the authorities, especially since all of them but Brork seem to really like us. I'm so sorry. I was scratching my brain right now because you've thrown us a mystery, Nadine. It's not really much of a mystery. If you well, gang, things. looks like we got a mystery on our hands. Let's split up and search for clues. I'll go I, with I really <laughs> don't fucking know what else we could have done to piss these people off. Yeah, Monty, what did you what did you say? Hmm? I didn't say anything. No, you said what you said. It would be really easy if blah blah blah. Oh, it's if you remember mm. things, certain things. I'm stopping my recording. Ah, uh, next time. Thank you, Austin. Thank you, Austin. <laughs> you guys sound so sad. I'm sorry. You just you just had a we're, rain we're on more... our on our spa parade. <laughs> We're more confused than anything. Yeah, I'm really fucking confused. I'm not. I'm not catching on any of this. Twenty-six. Is this episode twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. Okay. The spa was great, though. I'm glad you guys enjoyed that. Yes. Uh, for those you helped me with some of those names, uh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad I spent almost all my money there. <laughs> you did. I I guess for anyone. If we should cut it off at a particular place near the end of the session. I think you should. Uh... Just where I said, I think that's where okay. we'll end the session. Tonight, All right. Because if right that's there. the case, I just want to make sure yeah. that Austin knows. You could even do like a dramatic, like Law and Order, like I also dum, dum, I didn't, or something. Uh, the session, I didn't play the unexpected theme music. <laughs> it's okay. We'll, we'll use that for the podcast. It's, I think it, that's it, a podcast. It, 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 thing. it is new. It is true. It is known Khaleesi. But that is um. This this episode, I mean, like twenty six, yeah. Just the yeah. the, the romantian. Mm -hmm. I mean, we just call it the. Ro like the only other thing, I, the only other thing I can possibly think of is that me and Greckles were the only ones that still have it. He came to, yeah, in a that, dream. That might be like the big connect. Mm -hmm. That I think that's the one connective tissue between you two, in regards to this. But like. Yeah, because, oh, oh no, I fucking, like, Tiango was being big Mr. Scary Man, and Task was like, go fuck yourself. And then he yeah. walked away, and then he respected his and wishes Greco's and walked away. Stealth past him and failed, that's about it. I don't think he's going to take personal offense at that. Wait, 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 no, 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 no. I got, I got in there, remember? I had the heart-to-heart -heart with every man and all the freaking hats. The one thing that I tried to do, I tried to, I tried to physically stop him. 
I think from being aggressive to panic. And then he turned around and and um, mm. intimidated me down. That's not worth a hit. It's real again, especially because we're in every man's good graces. Unless every man's not coming back, oh. which is still a possibility. Who's the person inside the tavern. Why did Tinka do this? My God, guys, we'll find out the question, the a answers to these questions, on the next episode of the Unexpectables. And I'm gonna play us out with some music, guys, and we can chat about this a little bit more in detail. Yeah. Oh my God, we're gonna die! You guys are so quiet. I don't want to. <laughs> One second, this music's playing.